Booba Err, Hi Rayu. Rayu Pog Hey, what's up? <laughs> My boobs were down there. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going, homies? Danger McPherson, shut up. <laughs> you're, you're right. We might have beaten Godfrey, but I'll miss him forever. He will live on in my heart, okay? <laughs> I, I will miss him forever, okay? I don't want to fucking fight Radagon. He seems like a pain in my ass. <laughs> Look at you guys getting your hay redeems in. Get them in. Get them in. Shove it in. Down bad forever. <laughs> Godfrey! <laughs> I miss him so much! Alright, alright, quick announcements. Uh, I got a lot of grad school stuff I have to do this month. Uh, like, basically, like, two days ago, I sat down to organize everything, and I was like, oh shit, that's a lot. So, I will only be able to have two streams this week. Hopefully, we beat Radagon today, but if not, then probably Friday I'll be drunk again trying to fight him. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, guys. By the end of this month, I'll have my master's. I will be free. <laughs> and then uh, after that, I have to eventually get surgery on my arm. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> Can't wait for the stream without to keep going for another month because not enough streams. Shh, shush. I know you guys have benefited greatly from the flourishing booba economy during this time. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me go get those hay redeems. Thanks, guys. I'm really excited to have a master's. I can, I can like, flex that. I don't know how and where, but I can totally flex that somewhere. <laughs> At least you have your other arm to use your stuff. Yeah, that's true, and it's my main arm, too, so... <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, Tajik, welcome home, my ghost. Thank you so for 10 months. I missed two while no, I was gone. Dunk. Free Dominate and DH, thank you guys, thank you guys. Welcome home, my ghostlings. Thank you guys for coming home. 
<laughs> Let's see. Hey, Redeems. Hey, Akirena, Free Dominate, Creo Master, Amazing Abby, Patty Noah, Chris Ponent, Asuka Butter, Yogi Ri Yotakato, Face Hand, Atsushimon, Sir Arkham Knight, Skuma Dealer, Here Tan, Danger McFierce, Kip Rose, Togusa Eleven, Paintbrush Hero, Glim, Expansion, Sylvie, Muzzy, Poop Tarts, <laughs> Con, Ryan Too Easy, Zeno Cerberus, Cloudy Pizzas, Princess Roger Milk, Top Dog, Erlash, Tajik, Hey, 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 Danger McFierce, thank you so much for the 500 bits. <laughs> It's a relief when you defend your thesis. Uh, hey, Zorkon. <laughs> I'm glad it's the master's the uh, thesis, so it's not like uh, crippling. If 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 uh, I get, it's not like they're judging me with everything they got. <laughs> Should get, go for a doctorate just so people have to call you Doctor Glam. Glam, that was the original plan, and then I quit grad school because because it was too much for me. And then they were like, Ray, you you only have like a few more credits you need to to graduate with a master's. Come back, and I was like, Oh yeah, <laughs> random guy. Thank you, Kitty. Summer five months. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, I'm like nervous and excited to get my master's. I'm not going to worry about it tonight. I'm going to go ham tonight and then, and then, uh, middle of the week, Rayu will have to deal with grad school stuff. <laughs> just vibing, just been chilling. <laughs> Let me see how this drink tastes because it's, uh, ginger ale and vodka and I like Coke better. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Doing pretty good, little homies. Nice, 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 nice. Fraternity stuff. Good stuff, top dog. It's all good, Princess Roger Milk. You stop by when you can. <laughs> Change his name to Chief because Master Title. <laughs> master Title, Master Chief. Genius. They don't call you a master when you get a Master Zorkon. <laughs> Just so you know, what? No wait. You know what? We're rewriting the laws. I'm when I get my masters, you all have to call me Master Rayu. <laughs> We're starting this now. All masters will get the recognition they deserve. <laughs> Master Rayu, hey yo, <laughs> Rayu Sensei. Wait, that's too weeb controller. <laughs> Give me that masters in baiting. I can call you Master Now Easy. Mistress! <laughs> Actually, I take it back. Everyone call me Mistress Rayu. <laughs> Bachelor Rayu the rest of April. I'll take it, Glarfagus. I'm down for that. A minor in Poggers. <laughs> I love it. Mistress Rayu. Ayo. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you guys ready for me to throw myself at Radagon over and over again, hoping that I can read his moves, even though they are a pain in my ass? <laughs> All right, let's go. Radagon. No, I'm not ready either, Sir Arkham Knight, so we're in the same boat here. <laughs> We got this. <laughs> we got this. We can do it. It was fun for you, Akilena. What are you? A mega masochist? I'm a masochist, but I'm not even having fun with this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know what to feel quite yet. <laughs> I When I played him a little bit the other night, I was like, oh, God, oh, fuck. Boob usage to improve morale. How did you know? I want to be right up here with the dragon's maid thesis. <laughs> hey, Mr. Faded. Let's get Elden Ring open. Oh, I see what's going on. Hang on. All right, Elder Ring open. Get that Instruct Bot open. Oh, Instruct Bot is dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear, Mr. Faded. I'm gonna be absent this week as well, so we gotta we gotta make the most of the time we got together, right? Hey, boy, Skedaddle. 
<laughs> Don't worry, soon we'll be back to our regularly scheduled radio as soon as I uh really hustle on my on my research. Can I beat the boss in eight hours, please? I'll do my best sunlight, okay? I never go up to a boss being like, wow, I sure hope I spent 20 hours on this guy. <laughs> I go in doing my best and, and, and it's just really rough out here. I felt a hole in my schedule and emotions without your pain and suffering to fill it. Okay, DH. <laughs> I see how it is. Alright. Where is it? Here, Odin throw. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Don't look. Uh, uh, Accurate, thank you for the two kiss subs. How does this keep happening? Am I in a time loop? <laughs> okay, okay, we're, we'll, we'll be fine. How do we get out of here? <laughs> Yeah, th yeah, Lorebot, I dressed up in my finest lingerie for when Radagon fucks me. Oh, to your great start. It's- we're just getting started. <laughs> we never stop playing Death Loop. We're still in 12 minutes. The loop never ends. Alright, here we go. Guys, I feel like Radagon's just gonna keep kicking my ass. We'll find out, though. Maybe I should try Bloodhound Step. Would that be too cheap? <laughs> Wishing I was Radicon. <laughs> I come in, get hit once, moan, and then die. <laughs> Is this sex? Okay, let's see. I just have war. Um. You know what? Let's let's see how much bloody slash does to this guy. Get that king. It's been a while since we used bloody slash, but we should try it. Yo, Chris, thank you so much for your guess up to the loop soup. Back to the loop. Hey, Renato. The timer does not exist. Hey, let me go turn turn off that uh, the streamathon thing for now, just because my schedule is super funky this week. Plus, we're nearing the end of Elden Ring, so we'll see. Let's see, now I can move chat box over here. Bam. Everything neatly in the corner. Hey, guilty werewolf. <sighs> I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of nervous for how much my ass is gonna get kicked here. Maybe we might do new game plus. We'll see. Time to gift Radio a PS5. No, don't do it. Don't pay the scalpers. Let me know if you find any legit P PlayStation sources, though. Okay. God, this is this is terrible. <laughs> I fucking died <laughs> in like two seconds. God damn it! This is gonna blow, isn't it? <laughs> okay, you know what? If I'm gonna die that fast, then I need to make some changes. Fuck blood loss. We need. Which is the one where it increases your damage when you jump? This one. And this is non-physical, which I think will probably help. Uh, raises attack power. Raises HP. No, fuck it. We're going for that true glass cannon experience. <laughs> you know what? I don't even need this one. Glass cannon it is. What's Urtree's favor? <laughs> Holy damage resist, which I don't have. 
It's okay, we're, we're going full glass cannon here. He either kills me in one hit, or he doesn't... Or, or not. Hey, Ground Pounder. Oh, I see why you're being a cindery up in here. Um... Fuck it. Fuck it. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. It's It, it will be okay. It's gonna be alright. Probably. Elden Ring Fat Ring. I see. Holy damage resist. Might as well armor. Sylvie's right. God. And we have to be flashbanged every time. Shut up, TH. <laughs> you got this. I've never seen you. <laughs> Hit before. Oh, did I glitch you? Whoa. Damn it! Man, he kind of hurts. <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> Just calm down for a second. So this is it. This is my life now. An endless loop. <laughs> Radicon is basically exercising Rayu with all that holy damage. I'm a ghost. It makes sense. Entertain. <laughs> oh god. This is not the way to do this. We're, I'm gonna keep at it with this talisman set because I I hope it will work. <sighs> it's not Rayu's first purification, it'll be fine. What are you talking about? Like I'm like I'm panting from panting and stalking and my virginity regenerates. <laughs> You're supposed to help him, he really needs a hand. Oh, Adrian, I'm honored. I will check it out after Strim. You could totally do a Godfrey run for New Game Plus. What do you mean, Devizor? You can just like fucking skate all over the place, huh? Hey, boy, piggy. Fuck! <laughs> Someone, Zergon told me not to panic roll, but it's all I have. Spinning on a dime to hit you. I know, DH. He's literally skating on me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I have no clue if I can do it. But, you know, it's like Melania. You start off being a fumbling mess of a tarnished, and then eventually you might come out on top. There are a few attacks that miss if you lick his nipples. Say no more!
Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit. We're off to a great start. I, I at my estimates, I'll be drunk within the hour. Uh, and we'll be fucked all night long. Is a stance under sale? He's worse than stance under sale. He doesn't say taunting things the whole time to keep me entertained. <laughs> kind of miss makes you miss being grabbed by Godfrey. It really, really does. I miss Godfrey and his large hands. I'm drinking ginger ale and vodka. Oh, fuck. This is so painful. Can I roll off the map? Oh, wow, they actually don't let you roll off the map. What a code comfort. Gate up to me. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm gonna put on the, the physical damage reduction one first, and then pray that I can at least see more than three moves before I die. He can use his boss weapon and armor set. What is Godfrey's weapon again? A giant axe. So how viable is a fist-only playthrough? To Mogwin Palace? I probably have access there. Ugh, but I have to hunt down a whole talisman just for this guy? Fist has a no weapon or is it fist weapon? There are fist weapons in the game? I imagine it would be hell to try to do fist, fist only. Because you only do like two damage, right? Fisting only. Okay, I tried to jump through that and all it did was pain me greatly. That's not a lot. Not worth it. I should change from bloody slash. You can jump the shockwave, but not the bonk. Hey, Zenny. This thing only seems like your dream playthrough. Shut up. Art said we imbue Blade with fire. Is he weak to fire? I have one thing that imbues with fire, but I don't think it improves my damage much. Um, let me fix my volume real fast. This should be good, I think. There we are. There we go. Poor Frost Stomp. Isn't that like... <laughs> Don't people get a lot of flack on Reddit for using it? Radagon's a little weak to fire. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We in it. We got this. All the weapons I use, I use the Yuchi Katana. And two other Katanas. But for the most part, every boss was beat with the Yuchi Katana. Yo, I love you, Snuggupkins. lightning attack. I cannot read it at all. Ah! Is this 
the end. Oh, it's not the end. We're not even at half health, please, Radagon. Holy shit! You're just doing everything, aren't you? You know what? I just realized he has his own version of Horror Force Stomp. It's just all lightning, please! Oh my god. just going in. <laughs> we got this. He studies both incantations and faiths and miracles and homie is a real renaissance man of being a pain in my ass. The, if there was one, like, I can deal with the skating, honestly, but if there was one thing that I could erase from his kit, it would be the thunder toss. That's like three things he tosses out really fast. If you react as soon as he does it, it's still not fast enough to dodge it. <laughs> it's such a scary attack. <laughs> I don't know how that missed me, but I'm glad it did. That one! Oh, God. Oh, God. Does this make an air effect after? No, it doesn't. I really need to sneeze, which is really not good right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you stagger him? I forgot. I forgot that blows up. Can't be staggered. I feel like I've been like pounding on him, but he has not been staggered yet. Oh, I got this. We've gotten him to like half health like twice now. That's progress. Not much, but it's progress. He has a big hammer. Homie doesn't even have nipples. What's the point? Stagger with a big ass weapon, but not a uh, not a katana. See, now you guys are making me self conscious about me needing to sneeze, and I can't do it anymore. What's up, KQ? I help me. That's on me. I ran out of stamina. Everything's delayed. Dumpy weapon art? What's the dumpy weapon art and how did I miss it? 
I've been spending this entire game trying to like <laughs> trying to weaponize my massive dumpy. I am Radagon, <laughs> Blade of Marika, hello. Hope you have enough drinks for this boss. That's the thing, Genyo. I'll drink until I'm out, then I go downstairs to get more. Can't be staggered with Katana by using un Unsheath. Interesting, VPN. I can't even imagine trying to get Unsheath timing in here. Uh oh. Can you calm down for just a sec? my fault. Mm. Ah! <laughs> I can never tell which one's the AOE one where he fully commits and which one isn't. <laughs> Alright, Pete. So the plan to get wasted within an hour is uh, very well under the way. Never forgot the dumpy weapon art and dumpy holy version. <laughs> Isn't that always so late? It is danger. It could try so okay, Kyoda, you're too kind to me. <laughs> I'm literally getting the shit beat out of me and you'll be like, oh, you'll have him next time. You got this. Radagon, be gentle next time. Radagon, why can't you be a gentle yet graceful lover like Godfrey is? Oh no. Way slow. Oh! Who? Yee! You got staggered by a katana, dum dum. How does that feel? Uh oh. I, I understand your feelings. That's my fault. <laughs> Only in reuse. Mine is Godfrey Jin. So, shh, Abel. I can project whatever I want onto Godfrey. <laughs> in my imagination, he's the perfect man. I was looking to get killed by his stick. Shut up, painting spades. I got a taste of my medicine. Okay. <laughs> This is pain. Pain, Peckle. And back. And back. No. And back? Nope. That, that was a mistake, but... Oh, God. Will I ever get the timing for that one? The answer is... Um, find out. <laughs> Oh, the true enemy delayed attacks. Fighting Inner Owl was rough, but super fun. We need to play more Sekiro sometime, you guys. I've been missing it, like, like too much for me to not do it again. By the way, what's a Sekiro speedrun record? <laughs> Maybe I should try pairing. 40 minutes. Damn, Devazor. Do the gauntlets. I do want to do the ga gauntlets, but the idea of like having to like do a boss over and over in order to get to another boss. Fuck. Sub twenty for any percent. Um, is the any percent the like evil routes or whatever? Is that is that what like how do you any percent it? What's the what is percent? <laughs> yeah, Shuda, I see. Sub 30 for glitchless. Ah. Uh. 
Hmm, that's kind of cool. Shura was, would make sense. So Shura Road is a lot shorter, huh? I shouldn't have tried to get a hit in there. That's my fault. I understand. If you're angry at me for it. There's gotta be some give here. I wonder which of his attacks you can parry and which ones you can't. I might as well have the parrying dagger out. Pray that it will save me from damage at least one time. His move says all over place. It really is, Sun God. It's kind of scary. All right, let's try parrying. This still seems like it's gonna be a terrible idea. Immortal Severance, Ishin route. It's like 27 minutes. Man, whatever playthrough I do, I have to fight Ishin again. I'm just worried that it's somehow gonna take me longer than my first try of Sekiro to kill the bosses. And I will be like, man, how did I like peak and fall off in the span of less than a year? <laughs> it would feel really, really bad, man. You know, maybe pairing with a dagger is kind of rough. Is he a doll? Is that... This, is Ronnie his daughter? I have no clue what's going on in the Elden Ring lore. He's made from Erdtree. Butler or Sace this time? I do have the Sace this. Does that also parry? Ugh! Do I have to put the parry art on it? Oh, okay. Let's see. Hello. Would you like the parry art? Here you go. I guess I'll make it keen for fun. Oh, but this has a better window, does it? It also has a lift up, then, but it says faster lift up. Is this buckler timing? It doesn't... I can't tell. <laughs> Ronnie is in fact his daughter. Alright, hey. I'm here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage, Radagon. It's a bit shorter, but it's better than the dagger. Let's see if this helps me a little bit. Fuck him up, Ray. You think Maximus Donus? I'll try. Whoops. That's my fault. That was very poorly timed. <laughs> I missed two parries in a row and that solidified my death. Rodagon doesn't deserve you asking for his permission. Hey, Jax. We got this. We got this together, my ghostlings. Look at the ghost arm heaven ass. What's wrong with my arm? Hmm. <laughs> this is rough, but <laughs> that's that's what I came to expect when I got here. So so it will be okay. It will be all right. Well, we're gonna be all right. That was kind of funny. <laughs> my character, <laughs> my character went in for the parry animation, but instead got like a hammer to the face. It was kind of incredible. <laughs> my face bounced with it too. Like, like that, <laughs> that fucking hammer smack went uncontested. Really just went, so if my head could have popped off. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're not gonna try to parry. 
I don't think I don't think I got this in me, especially with the dagger timing. But it looks better than the Seistus anyway. That's a concussion. It really, really is. An instant replay in slow motion 4K of my head getting bonked. He misses with the bonks if you're under his arm. Man. I know you said to, like, lick his nipples, but... <laughs> but but it, he has no nipples. I don't know where to aim. The panic rolls do be punishing me. I'm dead. I can never ever. I, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm still alive. I'm dead. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to just fucking die. Shut up, Akinena. It was me, Rayu. I licked off Radagon's nipples so you would have a harder time aiming for them. <laughs> you got me, Akinena. I don't know what to do now. The music did be pretty bussin' though. Feels like a final boss battle. Lightning bolts always fuck me. Hey, a ghostling died here. I will die next to the ghostling. We will be kin. No, this is the spot I die at. Right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Separated. No. <laughs> he wouldn't let me. The music is a remix of the Titus Scream music if you listen close enough. That's Prey Pog, Chris. They're on top of it with the Elden Ring music. <laughs> Man. We got this. Eventually the Ultra Instinct drunk reflexes will kick in and I'll be able to react to his really weird delayed attacks. And then uh, we'll get fucked later on. Adrian, thank you so much for the guest sub. Thank you, thank you, Adrian. Congratulations to the ghostling who killed a shard bearer. Oh shit. That's unfortunate. Rolling towards him does not work. You just have to be perfect with your roll there. God damn it. <laughs> How dare he punish me for my panic rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Drunken gaming, I lost arc of gaming. Don't worry, I'm feeling I'm feeling the face flush. Soon I'll be buzzed. And then we will be we'll get fucked, but I'll be buzzed at the same time. Rose three times still gets hit. Look, sorry god, I'm doing my best! <laughs> Granted, I'm panicking because I have no clue what's going on with him. This guy's one of the most punishing bosses versus panic rolls. He really, really is. Alright. Oh, 
Jr. Sean, thank you so much for five gift subs. Man, this would be like easier if he didn't have like s <laughs> quick attacks mixed with his stalled attacks. This boss was designed to punish you for doing anything defensively. That bizarre, like guarding. My boss compilation of back, yeah. He has leg attacks, yeah. Wow. Wow. There's no winning. I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's do that again. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Bloodhound step. You can make announcements, Ground Pounder. Well, Ground Pounder, as I as I talked about earlier, I can't stream much this week, so the timer is not on. I can only stream twice this week, so don't sweat it. Either I kill Radagon this week, or I don't. As you know, I'm all about being bold and stupid. Fuck. All right, mods, let's not abuse your announcement powers. I see. <laughs> I see. I guess I have to take it away from you guys. You have to be, you have to use the announcement with, 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 you have to use your power responsibly. Alright, come on, Radagon. Ah, too slow. Oh, that fucking area effect is intense. Have you tried boing? Well, plenty know why I fucking died, so no. But thank you for your hundred bits. Wow, wow, wow. Let me turn on my fan. Buckle in for the lawn haul. <sighs> Maybe I do need... Ah, fuck it. Alright, fuck it. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna learn it. It's gonna look clumsy as hell, but I'm gonna learn at least how to parry that one really big attack. I wonder if you could have parried that. I was too early. I tried to account for the like tiny split second delay with the dagger, but it was not enough. I got you, Psychelia. Whoops. <laughs> Bury this, you fucking casual. You say you were gonna take off Blight Slash. I don't want to put on Bloodhound Step just to like abuse it and maybe cheese my way into like phase two. <laughs> Dodging more is not the answer here. Dodging more is the is the absolute way to get caught in a row and fucking shattered into a million pieces. Ah, oh, man. I really wonder if you can parry that. Oh, shit. I don't have the parrying guard on. <laughs> I was like, man, I thought I really thought I got the timing down. Back to the loop. Uh, Rubik's, shut up. Shut up, Rubik's. You know that's like the one thing I hate most about the mechanics of this game. 
They're like, all right, let's just add, uh, <laughs> let's just add AOE to every attack. So it's harder now, right? Um, Ashes of War, please add parry. Thank you. Just loop. I am not look forward to this boss, you guys. I wish I could have fought him and Godfrey. Ultimate. I wish Godfrey was the phase one to his Ishin. <laughs> I wish Radagon was like Ishin, but I wish Godfrey was like getting Chiro so I could play him over and over again. You know? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, Damon. Uh, I will look so stupid trying to learn how to parry, but like, as long as I do it once, it will have been worth it. Hey, Spitfire. Yeah, play Godfrey over and over again. <laughs> and before boss comes back in and parries Radical like they parried Melania, boss, what a champion! Hey TNT. Okay, I parried you once. You don't have to act like this. Shit, we're so dead. Uh oh. No! It ate my stamina. I don't deserve this. <laughs> will I play the boss rush mode when it comes out? Probably Genial. I probably will. Um, I just wonder like what bosses will be in the boss rush. Will it only be the mandatory ones? Yeah, I landed a parry once. <laughs> Ask me anything. <laughs> I'm making a Reddit thread right now. I parried Radagon one time. Feel free to ask me anything, all right? <laughs> Here's the proof I sent it to the mods. Uh... <laughs> All 150 bosses at once. You thought putting three crystallines was bad? Wait until they put all 150 bosses in one room. Sup, King Vegioc. Fuck! <laughs> what if four god skin? <laughs> Six crystallians in one room. They would do this to us. You guys know they would do this to us, right? <sighs> Damon looking out for a home here. He's right, Vegioc. There's there's the hay redeem. <laughs> I like to think that Vegioc knows and he just went for the big baller hay redeem. All of them in a small arena. Yeah, we we love to see it. I shouldn't jump there. Can you parry that one? Was I foolish for trying? Because it is a big attack. Wrong fucking thing. It wouldn't have saved me anyway. God skin duo, but they're just towered on top of each other. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Sid fired. It's so fucked up. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's messed up because it's gonna be the big roly boy on the bottom and the really lawn boy on top. <laughs> it, it's the power of like three kids in a trench coat, except like a <laughs> except worse. Nah, other way. No, no, no. Rolly Boy has to be at the bottom because he has surprising mobility for his chonkiness. If he rolls towards you while it's creating the fire circle. <laughs> no. So, don't put this energy out there. You know some Elder Ring dev is listening. <laughs> you know, Elder Ring dev room is just, all right, guys, what? Do we make the next boss and then they go on Reddit and find everything people hated and put it in one room? <laughs> what have you done? They they, they know now. Miyazaki <laughs> is just chilling in chat. He's writing down everything we complain about. Elder Ring boss randomizer. That's that sounds pretty fun, honestly. Like you don't know what boss you're about to face. It'd be even better if it changed as you like fucking <laughs> every time you walk through the piss mist. hate that attack. Ugh. So, that move right there, the one where he smashes down at first, I swear sometimes he stops there, right? Or am I wrong? Oh my god. That was right on me. Hey, Taser. What? He's rough. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try parry him. Sometimes I think about it, but I just don't know which moves you can parry and the other ones. I already don't know. I feel like if I don't know the timing to dodge it, I, I don't know the p timing to parry it. So, I might as well stick with dodging here. Some of his moves are one or two parts and others are the same as a prior with an additional. That's how that's how it's been feeling. I keep going for hits that like sometimes work and sometimes g get me really fucked. I'm a little tilted because I really thought I dodged that second hit there. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. A demonic idea of, of boss Spitfire. Don't even put it out there. All right. Patience. Patience. Patience, my ghostlings. <laughs> really, Slingod? You say his basic stomp? The ba basic stomp, I feel like I can react to way better than I can react to his three lightning bolts. That thing, he just chains in there and tosses it out so fast that I'm hit by it. And sometimes he does it twice. Uh oh. Shit. What's y'all's Godfrey's? Orzeal is asking the real question here. Who turns you on as much as Godfrey turns me on? 
<laughs> is it Melania? It's Melania, isn't it? It's probably Melania or Rana, Ronnie or or the uh, waifu who gives you torrent. Not torrent. The waifu who gives you uh, you burn the earth tree for maiden. Ronnie, my beloved. Ask so, to be honest. Are you being for real, cat? I mean, I'm into some freaky shit and some uh, freaky monsters, but Asto just doesn't resonate with me. Unless you use the entirety of Asto as like an anal bead, in which case I can kind of see it. Ho oh, ho! That shit hurt it. God, that that attack is the worst for me because I feel like I cannot dodge it. I know you can Don't get me wrong. I feel like that second upswing though. I'm either hit by the upswing or I'm hit by the air of effect Because if I dodge the upswing I get hit by the air of effect, but if I jump the air of effect I get hit by the dodge swing. I'm fucked up <laughs> Which ones are basilisks? Four arms aren't enough. I'm tired of character designs that have four arms but not two pairs of titties. Because anatom anatomically, you need your pecs in order to move your arms. Where are the second pair of titties? Please, monster designers, get on it. See, you can have many, many pecs, but, and no arms, because you can cut it off there, technically. But if you have two arms, two pairs of arms, and they all move, you need pec muscles to move your arms. <laughs> four arms, four titties, seven vaginas. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> Triple tit on the same plane, the middle boob, the evolved third nipple. I see it, I see it accurately, that makes sense. Melina, mm, very kosher thick. Sanzo, look up, <laughs> look up the like, what's it called, Ariel comic. The uh, Little Mermaid. <laughs> Sometimes when I say Little Mermaid, I want to call it My Little Mermaid, like it's My Little Pony and Little Mermaid. But that's just my weird dyslexia thing. I'm still alive, but nope. <laughs> what are we gonna call it? Call it the Radagussy? Radagonussy? Radussy. No healers, nopers. I know. Every time I stop to heal, I'm being punished. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it once again. Let's see. Dang. Damn it. Strength scaling is a C. What's the point? What if I go like 99 decks here and like 99 strength? <laughs> you think you think I can take him? I'll die in one hit, but that's basically what's happening here anyway. <laughs> the thing is, strength skilling is an E. <laughs> I miss. Ooh, okay. Ah, 
I like like again that that triple lightning thing always hits me. alive Oh, that's <laughs> pretty unfortunate. Higher protection anime logic, yes, but fire. I'm like Goku up in here. Which one gives you the most health? Max that. You will never defeat him, but neither will he defeat you. No, I'm pretty sure even if I max out my health, eventually he'll whittle me down. Which one says grab attack? Have I even seen it, Noah? Dodge that. God, his attacks really are all over the place. Wow, you guys weren't kidding. They just add area of effect to everything he has now, huh? <laughs> they really just add area of effect to everything, huh? <sighs> I fucking... I was really hoping you guys were kidding. <laughs> hey, Hira Seraphim. I was hoping you guys were memeing on the fact that I would complain about it on every boss. I really was praying that I... Like, you guys were just like, ha ha ha, you know what would drive Ryu insane? If they added area of effect. <laughs> and I would be like, ha ha ha, that's hilarious, dude. You're kidding, right? <laughs> You're just joshing, right? Hey, Q-Talk. Hey, I'm the ghost. Oh, God. I was so hopeful. I was literally like, okay, all right, they're just kidding, right? They're they're just fucking with me. <laughs> but no, no, they really had that. They were not joshing. Not. Oh my god. We're gonna be here forever. I'm 
dead. <sighs> it's okay, Melkier. You will beat him long before I can even touch him. The hardest boss fight in the game? Oh, God, he's hard, but not for the reasons I want him to be hard. He's not hard because, like, I'm, like, learning his moves, Ron. I'm, he's hard because he has the wildest RNG. <laughs> like, when he starts teleporting all over the place, you're just waiting for him to do his first move after it teleports. And it already ruins your vision, so you're like, okay, shoot, what's he gonna do? What What's he gonna do? And then he does the most bullshit move he could do. Yeah, he's not the good kind of hard. He's just hard. <laughs> I'm surprised I lived. The delays and tracking on his swings is brutal. It do be. It really do be. Hmm. Man, I miss Godfrey. Godfrey was nice and readable and g predictable and sexy. Radagon has nothing on Godfrey or Melania. My biggest thing is that, like, I just learned how to dodge one of his moves in this phase, and then they added AoE to it. I have no clue how to dodge that move now that AoE has been added. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, cool, I have to get to that phase again just to learn this same move. Oh, shut up, Delcros. Godfrey is... <laughs> Godfrey was readable and fun to lose to. <laughs> the AoE edition is the same dodge timing. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Not if I dodge into the AoE. That's the thing about AoE is it lingers. My mother always warned me about men without nipples. You can't read what they'll do. <laughs> You're right. He isn't as bad as Soap Cinder. I don't know about that, dude. Soap Cinder was pretty bad. But at least, like, when I look back, I'm like... Man, I was just playing poorly. Congratulations to the ghostly who beat the shard bear. Fuck. Oh, I have to get really in the zone. This would probably be easier to do hide and drunk. Grabbed our own nipples to him. It will put us at an advantage. I go through Elden Ring. I graft each waifu's titties to my body. I can be everyone's waifu this way. I agree with Demazor on this. So Cinder had a lot of moves, but at least his attacks didn't have AoEs. Yeah. 
And that's hard. And it's fast. I'm dead. That was rough. Lightning covers the screen and you just have to guess what he's about to do. Ah! So much. He has so many moves. He's a Ray Tingle. I'm not Spider Man, Maximus. <laughs> My Tingle only tells me if I'm horny. Show me your super physical defense charm. There it is. It's Dragon Crest. Ba, ba, ba. How am I gonna do this? In what world? Ah, fuck it. Whoops! Oh well, it's not like I can even get far enough to drink more than like two of my flasks before I die. How drunk am I right now, peanut butter? Not very. I'm a little like warm. That's just because I've been sipping furiously for the last like hour because I die so quickly to him. way he pivots. Look at this dude. Oh shit. What an asshole. I'm going for the Roddy ending. I'm really excited to see it. If I could ever get past this guy. Mmm, feet. Shut up, Accuvena. <laughs> His feet are not that great. He's got nothing on Melania. guys talk to me about like queuing roles um the idea of queuing roles where if you put input it as you're getting hit your row is going to like output after it kills me it generally kills me sometimes on this boss i'll get up my character rolls and i'm like oh great great the timer is uh, the, the timing is fucked now so i'm just gonna get hit by the next one uh, hey brother Finger all his rings in his chest. I'm trying to get into there so I can peg him from the inside out. Dodge a second later, then? Alright. 
We'll get him. We're, we're working on it. How to get in our drink after this, but we're working on it. Oh, I don't even know what song to sing for his, like, really weird timing. Ah, uh, confirmed proof my character's head is empty. One more, and then I go get in there and drink more water. Since this is the final boss fight, what's the top five boss fights for this game? I liked the first guy, Morgoth, right? Morgoth, that's his name? I think Morgoth's my number one, because I... F <laughs> it, it set a... <laughs> it set a precedence for the rest of the game, and I thought all of the bosses were going to be fun like Morgoth, but they were not. <laughs> And then, uh, Margit. Yeah, Margit first. And then, like, I enjoyed his iteration of Morgoth. That was also pretty fun. Melania's up there. Godfrey's up there. I don't know how to rank them compared to each other, honestly. Um, I actually really enjoyed the Godskin Apostle. He was fun to read, but I thought his... I, I disagree with certain of his moves. But he was very readable and fun to fight for hours. Basically, if I can fight the boss for hours without getting bored, I, I consider it a good boss. I am fighting Radagon and I am, like, actively shriveling up. <laughs> like, Radon. Which one's Radon again? The guy on the tiny horse? I thought his gimmick was interesting, but I didn't think his fight was fun because he had so many lingering hitboxes that kind of killed the fight for me. <laughs> Zen is right. It's just all top five, all god free. <laughs> but each one is a different move. Radon got buffed again? <laughs> okay. I killed him before the nerf, so I don't know how much of a... Hey. What do I do? I'm afraid to... I'm afraid... I'm afraid to make a move. Hey. How you doing? I... I don't know. <laughs> you just stopped moving. Hitting him activates his combat AI. AI, huh? Short man looking up meme. Well, oh no. Ah! Ow. Just don't stagger him. Nope, hitting him twice was all it took. I'm trying to think of other bosses I enjoyed. Um, honestly, my opinion of Elden Ring was the whole game was worth it just because there were so many fun bo- There were more than like a handful of boss fights I enjoyed. But if I were to like talk about all of the boss fights as a whole, I think a lot of them were just not fun. <laughs> Like, I would say more than 50% of the bosses I fought were not fun to fight. Like, 
And as you know, I'm basing it off of my experience of Dark Souls 3 and Sekiro, where I really enjoyed fighting the bosses, like, learning their patterns. Uh, I think there was, like, a greater than 50% amount of the game of bosses that had hard-to-read patterns, really weird hitboxes, or just awkward experiences overall. Hey, GRX and Bordo LP. But ultimately, I enjoyed the game. I would give it a positive rating just because, like, it was nice to play the game just to fight, like, Melania alone. Like, I would give the game a positive rating just for fighting Melania. Because Melania was fun. Like, I, I really enjoyed fighting her when I won. It was, like, serotonin. Um... I, I don't, I, I, I'm not sure if the problem with, like, the bosses is because there's so many, they started to, like, uh, you know, reuse bosses or just add janky mechanics. But I would say that, like, for most of the bosses, they, there was, like, it wasn't super fun to fight. They weren't readable. They were more, like, intended to punish me for being, like, for forever trying to fight them. And I fought them anyway. The repeat bosses. I, like... I think repeat bosses can be done well. I, I know that's like a, a lot of people's like problem with the game is repeat bosses having to fight something you fought before. But I think it can be done well. Like let's say you cheese the boss the first time or you got really lucky the first time. The second and third time isn't luck anymore. That is that is you've learned the boss, right? The problem is putting more than one of the like of bosses you've encountered in the same tiny room to punish you for entering that room. <laughs> it's pretty fucked. It can be done well, but I don't think it was done well. That's the, I think I think that's like a good point. So he brings up like I think it could have been fine, but I don't think it ended up okay. I know a lot of people complain about Godskin Duel, but I didn't have a problem with it compared to the Crystalline Trio or Crystalline Duel even. Um, Godskin Duel sucks. Don't get me wrong, but. After I fought them over and over again outside of the mandatory fights, it was pretty easy because they both like take their sweet ass time. Plus the arena has a lot of pillars. So I, I thought that Godskin Duel was fine. Uh, like after you, like I thought it was fine. Crystalline Trio is an endless shit show. They don't want you to have fun. They want you to be constantly hit by one person's bullshit or the other. Godskin Duel, like, takes a goddamn break from fucking you in the ass, which is nice, compared to the Crystalline Trio, which is stupid. <laughs> you can't DPS Trio as easily. Look, Sylvie, when I fight them again in a boss rush or whatever, I'll just show you that, like, it's not bad. It really isn't bad compared to the Crystalline Trio. <laughs> my DPS wasn't even that insane. It was just because I fought the bosses many times before that I knew that I could, like, punish them and bleed them in those... In, as soon as they're calm for a second. I I will say, with, like, confidence, I really fucking know Godskin Apostle. I fought him four times. I really know how to fucking fuck him up at this point. <laughs> it's a useless skill, but Elden Ring has nurtured it. If someone wants to get into Souls games, which title would you recommend to play first? Uh, I would recommend Dark Souls 3 because that's the only one I played. <laughs> Optional bosses are much harder or much more bullshit than the mandatory ones on average. What's the one we just fought um, before Godfrey? The guy who like jumps all over the place and he has like a red blade. He had a weird name. It was like Rallykith or something. I thought he sucked. I really think he's a terrible boss. I, I, I don't I think he I don't think he was fun on any like accounts. I don't know like I don't know. I, I think Malekith just kind of sucked. <laughs> so God, that's fair. I guess this would you know what yeah, this is probably the best Souls game to start off with. There's so much you can explore the world with and find multiple ashes to ashes make the game like more accessible, I would say. And, like, there's nothing wrong with using them. Not ashes, sorry, summons. Malekith is very hard, but there's a special item you can grab to parry him, I think. That's that's another problem I kind of have with the game. I don't like finding out there was an item I could have used to make a boss easier. <laughs> like, when I found out that, like, Margot had an item that pins him to the floor, I was like, oh my fucking god, are you for real? Like, I didn't even know that existed. 
Shut up, brother. Morty, I command thee kneel. <laughs> All right, let me go get another drink. Anyway, anyway, I, I do want to say, like, it's okay to, like, criticize a game. Sometimes people are, like, <laughs> the hardcore fans are, like, if I like something, people can't say anything bad about it. But if you didn't have a good time, it's okay to say it. I think, I think overall, like, I really enjoyed Elden Ring. I don't like this boss. I think this boss sucks for a lot of reasons. But I'm still gonna kill him to finish my playthrough. Alright, let me go get another drink. I'll be RB. No, I totally get you, Sun God. Like, when I beat a boss, I want to beat them knowing I really knew the majority of their moveset. And I didn't luck out or, like had to use something more than my basic kit or my challenge run to beat. Anyway, let me go get that. Let me go get a drink. BRB.
Alright, I'm gonna get... What's it called? Bloodhound! Thanks, more Piggy. I'm gonna get Bloodhound for... That one big move where he launches himself in the sky and I have no clue how to dodge it. I've rolled... I've, I've tried rolling the initial hit. And I think I do that, but then I end up in an AoE and I just get fucked. So I, I don't know if I'm just like rolling too early or what. But we're gonna get Bloodhound just in case. Mobile users can't see announcement. They'll catch up mobile users eventually, like they always do on Twitch. For, you know, remember back in the day when mobile users didn't have animated emotes? <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor little pathetic mobile users. <laughs> How dare they use mobile, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Poor little submissive breedable mobile users. <laughs> Dear Shaw, thanks so much for the two gift subs. Oh wait, why are you one handing this shit? I died. <laughs> Bring laptop to bed. Back when I was in like uh, high school, that was uh, that was my like nightly routine. <laughs> I, I I didn't have a good phone, but I had a good laptop, so I would like look, watch everything on my laptop at night. Yeah, like when I was like 14, 15, my phone was like a fucking <laughs> Motorola Razor. <laughs> and, and this is like long after the Razor has gone out of style. It was just the only thing I could afford. You will not believe the amount of, like, Motorola razors that you could buy for cheap. <laughs> what? How old were you guys when you guys had a Motorola razor? I had one in, like, 2013, 14. Million Reaper, welcome home, Michael. Same Thank you for two months for four months. Somehow made it through my move alive. Now I can peg a homie Hoggy in Woggy. peace. Oh, you're like 12? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I got it pretty cheap, so... 2005? She tried Nokia then. Well, now I now I have like a Samson, so... I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better. Thank you for that rose, Akidena. Hmm, so slow. Okay, I see what's going on. I'm just dodging way too, way too fast. Seems that like he lowers himself for just a second before he attacks the real. Thanks to Arkham Knight for, 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 I don't even know what you did. I, I'm assuming it was a Bloodhound step. Which one runs fate correct? <laughs> Man, you know, I don't I don't even dare talk to like my mobile provider about gotcha games. I don't want to explain. <laughs> Sliding Samsung phones? How is it, Noah? Like like 
What do you mean by sliding? You mean like the flip phone? The Samson flip phone thing they released? Like we're going back in time? Thank you, Akidana, for the tier one gift sub and Q talk for the jump and and the and the hype train. Lucky. Not lucky. <laughs> Which one of these phones fit the most anime booba? The screen slid up to reveal a keypad. Ah, uh, you're still going back in time though, Platinoa. Like, there was a time where phones used to have like keyboards and shit, and then they just thought. <laughs> it was like when I was like. 10, right? It was around the time the iPhone came out. It has a foldable phone. It's pretty cool. I'm just worried with things that you fold. Eventually that the screen is going to curve a little. I don't know how it works, though. Lowers a little bit, then you dodge. Nope, too late. But I charged the thing, so we're fine. Man, I hate his teleportation. Q <laughs> talk, I wish I wasn't flashbanged every time I try to go to this boss. I'm a bit confused why they force you to watch the cutscene for this guy every time you walk into it. I'm pretty sure that for every other boss so far, when you walk in, you can just- the, the cutscene skips itself. So I don't understand why they decided to do this really obnoxious flashbang, like, <laughs> thing that you're forced to skip. Because it's the final boss, I guess. Still sucks. Because Soul Sinners didn't have this shit. Ishin technically doesn't count because he has Getting Chiro first face. His boss is literally a CSGO meme. Shut up, Qtok. <laughs> Just kill him first time. Alright, Akulena, I'll let you have my controls. You do it. Punishing your eyes for filling. I feel it. Every, every time I go back to this boss, it just furthers my glaucoma more and more. Sentin goes, I can only hope for, for the Skyrim meme to interrupt me real fast <laughs> before I go into the boss again. A little bit of detilting. Eldering just wants to play secular instead. I feel it. I need to kill this fucker. I don't care how drunk he gets me, I have to kill him. <laughs> hey, I fucked up. Dude, I didn't have time to dodge that, like, 
arrow. Whoops. That's on me. I was already... I already queued up a whole other roll, and I still got hit by that arrow. I know, Frosty! This guy doesn't even say anything! It's like the worst part. It's like, what kind of final boss are you? Why should I be invested in you? <laughs> Why couldn't the final boss be Melania instead? She's actually nice and balanced. Fun to fight against. The only thing you have to really stress to learn is a waterfowl dance. This guy, I don't know where the fuck I'm going on. I'm dead. At least Godfrey respected you. Yes, Sun God. At least Godfrey treats me as a valuable opponent, whereas this guy just kind of fucks me and leaves. Radagon nuts in me and immediately goes back to pondering his tree. It's rough out here! That attack also really sucks. Because it like kind of honestly blinds you. So dead. Just take me. Your arm isn't even tethered to my body, but it's okay. Hmm. He is parryable. <laughs> I agree about the flashbang, but the move itself feels good to dodge. It does. It's probably one of his more readable moves. It's just for the second afterwards, I swear that um, the ground, the cracks in the ground glows through his body, and I'm like, where the fuck did he go? And then I see him. I got it, but I was too late. How <laughs> I keep my focus? It's actually really, really hard, especially with my ADHD. <laughs> you know, when games get really bright or flashbang me, it honestly is like if I like close my eyes for a couple of seconds and then I have to like refocus. Number one for most difficult game boss in 2022. Maybe Zenny, but I would rather Melania got it. Melania feels like fun to fight, you know. This guy just is a pain. Fuck. 
Polinia's style is memorable. This guy's just an asshole. Elder Ring, but only in light mode. I think that Elder Ring has a chance to win Game of the Year. I, I think it's good. I, I really do think it's good. Um, I don't know what other games could contest with it at this point, but we'll find out. Apparently the new Kirby game is kind of bussing, right? He's so hard to read. The timing on him is so strange and unreadable. <laughs> Had a lot more trouble with Melania and Radagon. Yeah, Lolly, I mean, like, Melania, like, once you fight her, you realize how. <laughs> How do I explain this? I feel like the challenge run pushes me to be as good of a player as I can be and, and forces me to be more patient. Otherwise, I will die endlessly and tilt myself further. But on the contrary, I feel like it also helps me identify bosses that are kind of more balanced for a um, soul level 1 experience. Granted, that's not the way you should be playing the game. but. I think the way that you play Elden Ring is however you play it. So I think Melania is way more balanced of a boss than Radagon is. Alive. I'm dead. I am too early or too late on that every time. I don't know what to do. Ba, 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 ba. Cool math games to win game of the year. Brother, we bring it back. Next is Pop Tropica. P Club Penguin. <laughs> use great runes the whole game and at this point I wonder if it will help me at all. I keep fucking missing. I'm too tilted at for r slash place. r slash place is the best. <laughs> oh it's fun to see it. Yeah, if you're a renter, you have to love r slash place. That's 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 just what you have to do. When did r slash place come back recently? I thought it was like an April Fool's special. That's the thing, Fading Spades. It's like when you are a part of community trying to get something done, you get way more competitive and you want to beat the shit out of everyone. Even though all we are are just pixels in, in space. I cannot read that attack. Oh, it's so messed up. Like, you can't just react. Like, I'm looking everywhere to see what to react to. 
His arm swinging down is not a good indication of when it's gonna hit you. It's rough. Night AC, welcome home, my ghosting. Thanks for having two months and cheering me on. You can do it. Reacting too much to the signal and not the attack itself. It's rough, Aculina. I wish I could react to the attack itself, but by the time I do that, I'm dead. Cause like I'm trying to like look at his arm. That one like doesn't work most times. also adds to his infuriating, like, design. Hey, cool wilderness. You ta tackled college. You can fuck this guy up. <laughs> college is a completely different challenge. Yeah, the lightning attacks are the worst, Ava. Because this two lightning attacks is either a three bolt thing that is so fast that you have to pray you're reacting to it like a god, or a really delayed one that you can't get a read on because it's super delayed. Ow. Man, I don't even... I don't want to fight you. You're such a pain. Like when I fought Soul of Cinders, I at least had fun. You have the Halig Tree plus two talisman? I don't have it, Lolly, but I'm I'm down to get it. But at this point, like the things that I'm having trouble with is just I need to learn how to dodge. Hey, Kenneth, like like there's no point for me to go out and get anything when I'm just getting fucked by his like giant attack anyway. Hey, Delgros, I have a lot of fun with FromSoft games. The serotonin you get is unbelievable. I guess something that kind of disappoints me about this boss is that, like, if I happen to cheese him and won, I would feel nothing but relief. Like, I, if I cheese, like, a different boss, like, if I had cheese Melania, I, I wouldn't have felt, like, good. <laughs> but with this guy, because of how fucking random he is, I, I'm, like, I'd be more than glad to cheese him. Hate his teleporting attack because what are you supposed to do if you just happen to be next to it? <laughs> this guy is very not fun. <laughs> One of my biggest complaints about Malekith was I really hated the attack where he tossed rocks out. Because it blocks your view, and at the same time, as your view is blocked, he's charging up another move. So, you have to really pray that, like, you have to just act in a way that's defensive against whatever move he could be doing. So you keep a good distance away from Malekith so that he doesn't fuck you with his secret move. It's basically pocket sand in your eyes. He fucking tosses eyes into- He fucking tosses sand in your eyes, and it's just like, <laughs> attack part two. Um... And Radagon does this so much with his fucking lightning! <laughs> Why? Oh 
Holy shit. The man's been maxing. You can argue that about any boss, random guy, so I don't think of it as a valid argument. I mean, like, any boss that you are having trouble with would demand min-maxing from you. I don't think he's impossible to do with my build. I think sometimes, for example, with Malakith, what I end up doing was I found a pattern. Like, it wasn't the optimal thing. I would love to have a boss where it's merely a thing where I have to react to every single attack they do. Um... But, like... This guy, I feel like maybe there's a pattern that rewards you for being melee and that he'll get locked into the same animations over and over so that you have like a higher chance of getting to the end of his health bar, which I assume will lead to another phase two that's crazy and will make me want to like kill myself. That really shouldn't have hit me. Radagussie was made to punish point blank combat. I think he's made to punish like anything. Somewhere earlier I said something about how with spells you can just negate it. Which is a frustration I don't have to deal with since I don't use spells and I don't even know how it worked. Who's Queen Marquita? <laughs> That's what I think too, but it's so easy for him to like... It's so easy for him to take one step back and ruin that spacing for you. So it's not a matter of simply sticking close to him. Sometimes he can just fuck that up for you too. The holy negating talisman. Okay, where is it? Fuck it, let's go get it, you guys. This isn't worth me fucking dying over and over again to the same attacks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Magwin Palace. Is it not here? Uh... Just tell me which side of grace to go to. I thought Mogwin Palace was like underground. Who's Mogwin? Yeah, I don't see it. Help. Palace approach, ledge road, underground, bottom right. Do I not have it? Have I not been to Mogwin's palace? I did. I passed over it. Oh. Uh... There it is. Alright, I'm here. Where go now for that talisman? Probably not that way. Hey, Arrow Rocks. Oh, Torrent, it's been forever since I could use you.
Bow, bow, bow. Clarifying bullets. Oh, hey, a, a tree. A hey, yo. Oh, that's not it. Um, how did I go from here? Thanks, random guy. Alright, now let's try this fucker with this. You know what? Uh, let's just look around real fast. Any other thing? Is this a secret alleyway? Nope. Arteria leaf. Oh, Damn it, I have that fucker's theme song in my head. Grab that. You know, why do I pick up all of these things when I have never crafted? Whoa. Whose theme song, uh, Radagons. Bum, bum, bum. Notice these three note motifs with all the final bosses. Where am I? The main theme of Elden Ring. Yeah, same thing. His comes out swinging, though. Um, let's try and set up this one. We'll do Halleck Drake. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Did Rayu beat all of the other bosses? Not all of them. There's a couple, like, small ones I missed. And at this point, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be fun to go back and fight them over level. But just about all of them. All the challenging ones you can think of, I've killed at a reasonable level. Doom Eternal is a non-stop joyride. I do like Doom Eternal. Yeah, I beat Rickard. I did, I did uh, use the gimmick weapon for it, because it was way too scary otherwise. to change two items, random guy. Fine, let's see. Which one? <laughs> hey, Gemini Frank. I've been trying, Azoth. This entire time, I've been trying. That... 
really shouldn't hit me. But what do I know, I guess? But tilted. <laughs> Tell me in what world that attack would have hit me. Let a tail consume you. I'd sooner piss my pants, brother. And I'm dangerously close because I keep like not going to the bathroom because I, I'm just like one more run. <laughs> not know that the fucking lightning bolt that he can toss out at close range has an AOE. So that surprised me. I'll be right back. God. Yeah. All right, BRB. I'm back. Oh, I had to ask for the origin of one of the words that I've heard going around the souls like community, which is like, why do people call each other like souls like veterans? <laughs> where does where does this terminology come from? Who was the first person to label themselves like that? <laughs> the releases. Hello. 
Mm. Sounds like veteran means you played more than once from soft game. Ah, yes. <laughs> Shut up, half person. It's me. I'm John Veteran. <laughs> the first man to play a, a from soft game. Did I piss out my tail on the pissy boy rat again? No. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking about how he has a second phase. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm thinking about it, and I'm angry that he does. How am I making fun of veterans? I'm, I'm just asking why Dark Souls people call themselves veterans. <laughs> like you fought wars playing from soft games. I play no game where people call themselves veterans. <laughs> like, like if somebody called themselves a League of Legends veteran, I'd be like, what? <laughs> what did you just call yourself, my guy? <laughs> I'm Bronze 3. I'm a League veteran, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I was asked the other day, and I was like, what do you think about these games as a... As a <laughs> like, you play Dark Souls 3 and, like, uh, Sekiro and now Elden Ring. You, would you call yourself, like, a Souls-like veteran? And I was like, I would never call myself any of those words. <laughs> I, 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 how, how do I answer this? <laughs> A video game veteran, hey. Tetris veteran is a very interesting implication because there are studies about how games like Tetris can reduce PTSD in veterans. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, you're so right. Like most things, the whole veteran thing started as a meme and then people start using it unironically. It's too true. I feel like it's like Rick and Morty fans spiraling out of control, you know? Like first it starts ironically and I was like, ha 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 Like, yeah, oh yeah, life doesn't matter. Ah, da, 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 da. And then it becomes a shit show of people who are like, oh yeah, you're right. I'm just like Rick Sanchez for real, for real. <laughs> we fought in the gamer wars. There's even Persona veterans. Please. I love Persona games, but I never call myself a veteran. And you know the people who call themselves Persona veterans are the ones who play through Persona 1 and 2. And they're like, you don't know about Persona main characters unless you play Persona 1 and Innocent Sin. <laughs> and you're just like, man, <laughs> I don't have a PSP. Unicom, please. into a pickle right you <laughs> do you, you remember how like the persona 4 i cannot get over how the persona 4 like and persona 5 tutorial uh is like 10 to 15 hours long <laughs> it does make me laugh Man, I'm not even looking at the screen anymore, please. Radagon. I'm died. <laughs> Blooms.
XCOM. <laughs> Man, peanut butter, if I killed Radagon in the span of like what? Two hours? I think that's I, I deserve a prize. <laughs> I'm I'm naked. I, I would be genuinely surprised if I managed to kill him in two hours. Swing out in any direction, huh? Flat. 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 <sighs> Why? Why? I don't have ADHD, but I'm bored of him already. I was bored of him within the first hour. I'm trying to keep what little attention span I have left on him, but it's hard. Random guy, me too! What, like, after getting flashbanged by his attacks, if I look over to my white wall, I see purple. <laughs> Like, 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 after he flashbangs me with my attacks, I just look over to my wall and I just see fucking shit in my eyes because he's, he's caught casting illusions. I'm fucked up. <laughs> he's impacted me in real life. It, it's messed up. about how much that shouldn't have hit me, but it's fine. Gamer filter damage. Gamer filter glasses. The guy, the guy, like, has a crazy flashbang. It might be the fact that his skill is, like, yellow and white and it covers up, like, your entire screen when he does it because you're facing him. <laughs> Time to get flashbanged again. Gamer filter glasses sounds like snake oil to you. There's a the gamer filter glasses is what blue screen filter. So like you can get blue screen filter, which is actually like not snake oil. It's something they can use to reduce your, the strains of your eyes if you look at a screen a lot all day. I have those in my glasses, so I'm I'm good to go. Yeah, for Radagon, you're gonna need strip sunglasses. I'm good to go against most bosses, I should say. Not Radagon, who literally flashbangs you. I hate... <laughs> I hate his tracking so much! 
his body will like just invert on itself just to hit you. Sunglasses for your character in Elden Ring. This does not help <laughs> with me getting flashbanged IRL. <laughs> it might. You're right. I should. I should do it. I should violate my no armor rule just to see if maybe me equipping stuff on my characters in the game will help me IRL. You don't know how to dodge that one, huh? Really, really shouldn't hit me. I understand there's like a little bit of area of effect there, but it blows. It really shouldn't hit. If I dodged it, I should have just dodged it. Opposite of fun here. God, this is this sucks. <laughs> like there's it, like usually with a boss, I have like fun trying to read their abilities, but for like him and Malekith, it's just kind of like man, this blows. Why am I here? Yes, I killed Melania, and Melania was a fun boss. I have to say. Looks like a pain. It is Sigrid and Bird. Homies, check out Sig Sigrid and Bird. They're homies that we raided a while back. They like Warhammer. I'm sorry, I don't know what other games they like, but but I remember Warhammer. <laughs> this boss blows. Hiya. He's so inconsistent, is the worst part. My man, er, hard disagree. If this was old YouTube, I would give you a dislike right here and right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> How dare your opinion differ from my from mine? Warhammer, you know, hammers of war. There are at least 39,999 of them. I don't like that attack. The stomp attack I can handle as part of his combo. That attack, like, even if you dodge it, there's a chance his little, 
lingering AOE will hit your ankle and you'll get staggered and die. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know if I have it, random guy. I probably don't. Not all AOE is lingering. Shut up! That one is. <laughs> the final boss has way too many AOE attacks ready to avoid. I'm really tilted that on the off chance I get you as 1.5 phase is full of AOEs that will hit me for no reason. Lo-fi, lo you can only like have one talisman of a type. So you can have two holy damage negation. You can have one. I am upset. I can't look at the downswing of his arm and accurately predict when he's gonna hit. Like, why else would there be a downswing? No, Dr. Cucumber. So what happens in a 1.5 phase is that all of his attacks right now that you're seeing now has an added AoE. So if you got used to dodging those attacks, you will probably dodge into his AoE afterwards and get hit by that. Which sucks because it feels like you're being punished for, for learning the boss. Which one's Champion Gunder again? I know he's probably from Dark Souls 3 because I recognize the name. Can you guys like give me a defining trait? <laughs> Shut up, DH. At this point, I believe it. Oh, Champion Gunder, the first boss. This guy is nothing like Champion Gunder. So he's bleed resistant, but can he bleed? His combo game is insane. I hate his lightning attacks. They suck. Both of them are just terrible attacks. I don't like unreadable attacks. That's like my thing about Souls-like games. And it's like, I totally, I totally get it. Like, you know, if you, if you're okay with it, it's fine. But like, I, I liked bosses most with like really readable attacks. With lawn wind up, stuff like that. Him and Morgoth has this like lightning attack that's so fast on the like downswing and up and upswing that you just get hit by it. Learn how to read him over a long time. What is that Ming Zircon? I'm gonna spend like 20 hours on this, homie. Cool. Cool, 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 cool.
Oh, no, this lingers? Ah! Of course it does. Why would I... Why would I expect anything less? I jump this. I drank the wrong thing. I'm very sad about it. Out of here. Fuck off. I'll go swap you over just in case. <laughs> nope, not that. Flask. I wonder if I've managed to get enough seeds. Nope. Never enough seeds. Seeds are a rarity. Boop. Sup, Chili Lagardo. Get more seed. Alright, guys, my womb is open. Come in. Oh, I'll try and Bloodhound step. It, I don't want to spam it, Urge. I feel like if I, if, if it can be dodged with a dodge, like just a regular roll, I should be learning it and not just spamming. This is not a great start, admittedly. The way he spins. I hate him. Excuse me. Is this the stream with the open womb anime girl? Yeah, come come into my free use stall. Pog, <laughs> wait in there. You gotta line up one at a time. It's only one bathroom stall. Come on, be respectful. <laughs> it's okay. You can touch tips at the urinals. You can touch tips with two homies. I'm not gonna say how tilted I am. I'm just gonna go over here and die. <laughs> See, I don't have to ask for a job, gentle bot fodder. He fucks me hard so that the one time I top him, I will also fuck him hard. I will go in dry. There will be no lube involved. Can I try a waterfall? You mean waterfowl dance, Zircon? I don't want to use waterfowl dance against him. That leaves me way too vulnerable. Uh, that's the way. Do I have a weapon affinity on? No, I have... Bloodhound step keen. I thought he was resistant to everything except flame, and I don't feel like changing to flame when I'm fully dex, you know? I totally dodged that one. Maybe my landing fucked it. Wah. 
frost. Pathetic. I will never use frost. So I have made my blade holy for that one bird that we fought in the ice place. The one that looks like Sans Undertale. Will I play Elden Ring again after beating it? Aaron Rocks, the more I think about it, the more I think no. The only way I would play it again is honestly soul level one. Um, and that's just a pain in my ass because I don't want to fight this boss again right now specifically. I would play the entire Elden Ring again just to fight Melania though. But you guys told me there's like a boss rush coming out, so I'll just wait for that. Oh, Gupta. Those are the words I need to hear most. <laughs> I can be your sans. As you know, I can only nut to the first couple no's of Megalovania. <laughs> New game plus, but it's just up to Godfrey. That's all you need! Okay, so you can kind of like walk through that. Ow. really dislike is teleporting. It feels like another way to like inflate it, the difficulty artificially to block your vision from moves that you already know. DOE. I'm dead. Ooh, I'm not dead. Do you see that bullshit little spin? It's the worst! It doesn't even make sense. Let me see your second phase, so I can see how bullshit I think it is. Am I dead? I'm dead. Two whaleys. Big tough guy all of a sudden. What you got?
<laughs> I'm gonna hate this. Oh my god. Is it gonna be like Chissy Night? Is it gonna be like fucking glowing Chissy Night? Oh my fucking god, how big are you? So I heard you like AoE, no bot fodder, please. I really can't. What are you? Jesus. He looks like. I, I don't know what he looks like. How big are you? The music is beautiful. I love the roots in, within him that resembles veins. It's very beautiful. He's like. He's- oh no, he's like a, gonna be a big, stupid little overro- What the fuck was that?! My character just like flew! Hello? Oh my god, what is going on?! I don't even know what's happening right now! Okay, he has a little cute little sword. And he just ran away from me. Fuck! Please, I'm out. I'm like entirely out of things to respawn with right now. Are you good? I just got close to you. Are you for real? Like, are you just gonna run every time I get close to you? I couldn't even. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the fight is 90% running. Is this it? Is, am I being punished or being melee? <laughs> this boss fucks. <laughs> what, what, what do I do? <laughs> This is the boss run and devs forgot to enable torrent. Shut up! This, this fucking sucks! Oh my god, just kill me. You know what? Just, just end my life. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to fucking get back there again. I'm tilted. <laughs> It punishes you for being naked. Every- I- I'm fine with that. It's my fault for being naked, but how is it my fault I'm melee? Okay. Here we go. Wonderful music, cool design, fucking terrible idea. Okay. I haven't even seen- oh my god, it's- you know what? Maybe I can dodge it. I- I- I just need to live longer next time. Maybe save my pot for the second phase. That might help. for players without plan B? What's my plan B supposed to be? You, summon my friends? Take care, stick of butter. Elden Beast. <laughs> Imagine the same would go that far so everyone runs. So God, I'm at least glad to know that we are all being treated equally here. In the eyes of the Elden Beast.
I really hate when you spin like that. I dodged into it. I'm dead. I'm not. Now I'm dead. Or not. I died. I'm still alive. I'm died. <laughs> I know my eyes hurt too. Why is all of his attacks bright yellow? All right, I gotta go pee again. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> like fighting Genny Churro before Ishin, it's a little worse than that, honestly. Thanks, Gopta. <laughs> Midir plus Seth? Which one's Seth again, Q-Talk? We're fighting all of this just to get to Elden Beast where I will inevitably die again and again. Ugh. I wish the game had a, like a a training mode so I don't have to 
I don't have to like recklessly throw myself at phase one hoping to see phase two where I would just end up dying anyway. Can I endure this nightmare? Ever since I've done it the entire fucking game, I think I can do this. Sekiro's guitar hero for weebs. God, I miss Sekiro! <laughs> There'll be a brush of fair, fresh air once eldering has been conquered. Maybe so. I've been in I've been itching for a fun, like hard shooter game. That's not Doom Eternal because I already played Doom Eternal. Full replay through of Sekudo. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see. I'm not sure if I want to do a full replay or just go through the gauntlet, because the gauntlet's pretty fun. Or maybe I do like the resurrection mod. Shooter, because that's two new bosses. Maybe I'll do shooter routes. Obviously, demon bell mode again. into New Game Plus with Demon Bill Kuro Charm. I would... <laughs> so there's two things I'm worried about with my secular replay through. One, you guys are going to be mortified that like despite playing through the entirety... Uh, playing through the entirety of secular in front of you guys, I still have no sense of direction. No fucking clue where the next boss is supposed to be. I've forgotten it all because all the maps look the same to me. <laughs> two! <laughs> Two, I will be so pissed at myself if I take longer on a boss my second playthrough around. Thank you guys for guiding me. Twitch plays Rayu is a resounding success. Also, like, you know Ungbold, the like incredible like Korean Souls like player who's just God himself, like, when when he plays Souls-like games, he is dancing. My man is, like, on a whole different level. <laughs> Ungbo, yeah, Ungbo, yeah, Unwritten. Ungbo, he's insane! Hey, Grave Sloth, he has the profile picture of Sekiro smiling with pain in his face. I love him so much. He's so incredible. Ungbo, like, his playthroughs are insane because he uses items and, like, um... N that's not the only reason they're insane. It only adds to how sexy his playthroughs are. He uses items, he like uses uh, like all of the modifications in Sekiro with grace and like finesse. I don't like using the fucking... I don't like using any of the things that come in the uh... come with the arm. Who's the strong position? I, I try not to watch any of his stuff uh, for bosses, I haven't fought myself yet. How are you supposed to play? I just use what I have! The- the only items that I can, like, concede with, um, or... Shit, I'm dead. The only items I can concede with, I like the purple umbrella because it protects you against the monkeys attacked. And I like Divine Confetti, because it, uh, it protects you against, like, ghostly attacks. Hey, Walter. 
Using prosthetics is just how you're supposed to play. I played most of the game without prosthetics. Kure Kage, thank you for joining us for two months. Welcome home, my ghostly. Moss, monkey and any ghostly attacks. Those were the two items I used. I did, wait, no, I also used the fire prosthetic against the beast. But, okay guys, can you play through the entirety of Sekiro just parrying? Sure? I, I don't, I don't want to sure. I want a yes. I, I want to say just parrying, but you're allowed to attack to trigger the, um, you know, kill animation. Well, okay, how about just parrying and me kitty counter? If you can do that, I would love to play Sekiro again. I would love to play Sekiro again, but with like a parry, like Mikiti counter, no attack run. <laughs> Save for like triggering the, um, the phases. Can I run away from some? Interesting. I don't know, maybe, but you know, I do just like what Sekiro for what it is, where you attack, you get some attacks in, you get some parries in. Monkey will be rough. Yeah. the AOE. It hurt. Oh my god, please calm down for just a second. Just a second? You know what? Oh, I really hate your lightning attacks. I really hate your lightning attacks, my guy! <laughs> Had to attack one of the folding screen monkeys, too. Hmm. You know what? Never mind. Scratch the parry only idea. I think it's fun, but I don't know if it's feasible. And honestly, I would just rather play through Sekiro again with Kuro's charm on. Like, I did my first playthrough, uh, first playthrough with, like, um, what's it called? Demon Bill. And I never turned it off. I thought it was fun, you know? I thought it was really, really fun. I didn't, I remember someone trying to show me a video of, like, 10 things you don't know about Sekiro. And the first thing was, like, <laughs> get, get the Demon Bill and then go farm. And I was like, I don't farm. Fuck off. <laughs> I use the demon build the whole time or no time. How dare you tell me to farm? Farming is for losers. I'm kidding. <laughs> Farming is for reasonable people who don't want to have a terrible time. But I am not a reasonable person who doesn't want to have a terrible time. Farming is her fashion skill. Well, no, not in, not in secular controller. That's not a mode for a mascus. The game is pretty easy without Demon Bill. I love Demon Bill. It made everything awful. <laughs> I'm kidding. I literally don't know how much easier it would be without it because I 
play the entire game with it. You know, that's my norm now. That's my whole thing. The whole reason that I play games stupidly is because if my normal is stupid hard, then I can probably, like, do the game super well when I play without restrictions. Right? 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 Copium. I do take back my earlier complaints about him teleporting. Because it seems that after teleporting, he uses something that you can't respond to, so it's not a bullshit thing. <laughs> earlier I said I really hate when he teleports because he just uses, like, whatever is in his kit. But it looks like, so far, whenever he teleports, he uses something that does have a bit of a delay, so you can dodge it if you're watching. Everything is done the hard way. Why would you do anything the easy way when you can do it the hard way and make it your norm? You know that fucking stupid ass rage comic that's just like, uh, if you build your tolerance up in the bath with hot water enough, you can eventually like douse yourself in lava. That's what I'm doing all the time. Except like suffering. Dude, I'm fucking quoting a rage comic from 4chan. This is not what you should be basing your biological not like knowledge off of. I'm dead. Oh, nope. Yeah, half Persian's right. I beat everyone I could in Sekudo. I fought every single boss. I did cheese the fire demon though. I did not fight the fire demon because I didn't want to. <laughs> Like, I I don't know what's up with the fire demon. I didn't have fun with him. Oh, God. Maybe the fire demon was a radagon of the secular game. Both Ishin and Emma. I feel like that's a spoiler because I did not fight Emma, nor did I see, like, any chance to fight her. I... Hey, Olivia. Holy shit, I rode four times and still got a hit. So this is the way of the panic rolls. It's okay, I, I understand. I, I get it. Like, like you fight Emma in a shooter route, it only makes sense. I'm glad you get to fight her, though. I'm kind of excited now to do the shooter route. Like, lore... Okay, so like out of all of the lore in FromSoft games, I get Sekiro's the most. I can't tell you everything about it, because I haven't played in a couple months now. But, Emma fighting against you if you're doing a shootout ending makes a lot of sense. So, I'm not upset about being spoiler about it, so don't worry about it. I'm, I'm really excited to fight her then. Sekiro, like, has the best narrative. Everything that happens makes sense. Um... I, I will say, I like Elden Ring's narrative, the way they tell the story. I think it's very cryptic. I don't like the NPC quests, because I feel like a lot of them are impossible to do without a guide. Uh, look, if... Genuinely, if any of you want to argue about that, go for it. But, like, how are you supposed to know you're supposed to go to the same place three times? Like, I think it's impossible without a guide. I think it's kind of stupid. Like, I don't know why I have to, like, pull up something to try to get a character's quest. I wish the character would just tell me. Hmm. Ooh, she's considered one of the harder bosses. Exciting. 
exciting fading spades. Feels like old school games you're supposed to share information. That's fair. I never played any old school games, so all my views are very zoomer. Also, like, you know, I have no friends who plays games, so I'm very used to, like, having to figure stuff out, usually. Until I start streaming, in which case you guys can look it up for me. Right? Right, homies? Copium. No, yeah, exactly, Lupin. I don't know how anyone can argue about, like, how weirdly paced some of the NPC quests are. Oh no! I'm still alive! But it hurt a lot! Oh god! Yeah, the Ronnie doll thing... Somebody, like... I remember a couple of streams ago, I was kind of complaining about the lore and somebody was like, Yeah, you know, the only one that makes sense is Ronnie's questline. And it was like, I would have... I wouldn't have talked to doll three times unless you guys told me. Like, I would have, like, looked at it the first time and be like, Oh, how cute! I can talk to her. And then left. I feel like there's a lot of quest lines, like, for example, Millicent's, where you had to go to the shack, like, five times, and you didn't know where Millicent was sometimes. <laughs> I was kind of offended, because I was just like, I fucked up someone's quest, and someone was just like, yeah, if you explored more, you would have known. And I was like, dude, I, like, didn't even know this was a character. Why the fuck would I have come here? I swear you must have looked at a guy to know. Quest in the open world is kind of lame. Half Persian, I super agree with that. Okay, how do I explain it? I think Elden Ring falls short as an open world game. I think it's a fun game. I like it. I would give it an overall positive. I loved exploring. I think it's cool that there's all of these things. But as an open world game, I, I think it's a little bit like convoluted and not fun to explore unless you have a guide. It's pretty annoying to re, re -loop. Sylvie's right too, because like, you have to exhaust all of your dialogue with the NPC. Which is just dumb. Because like, it, it's like when you play the game again in New Game Plus, I imagine you have to do the same thing. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that sucks. I respect your opinion. I respect yours too. I think you can have a good time with the game, but I do think the game, like, falls short as an open world. Wait, you like the looping dialogue in particular, Abel? First time doing open world is praying impressive. Yeah, I agree. Look, I cannot, I cannot overstate this enough. I like Elden Ring. I think it's a fun game, but I still have things I want to criticize about it because I hope Elden Ring Two is better. And well, sometimes when I complain about things, it's because I don't think they're gonna change. I don't think they're going to like change how convoluted the character quests are. I think that might be something they think is part of, like, a Souls-like game. And that's fine. Maybe it's just something about Souls-like games I don't like in general, then. God, I really hope for a second or two.
this is the least convoluted? Maybe so, Genio. <laughs> if, if this is the least convoluted and it's still this bad, I... I just don't think it has a place in an open world game. I feel like it doesn't reward you for exploration, but instead punishes you for not looking up guides. Wow, two lightnings in a row, Radagon. You good? Yeah. I think, I also think there is a bit of a generational gap uh, with me and some of you guys. Because some of you guys played games that were kind of insane, honestly, and it kind of like blows my mind that you would, you would settle for that, I guess. Stuff like where you had to have the insert that comes with the game in order to play the game. <laughs> like, like back, like I remember watching Angry Video Game Nerd and the anti-piracy way was just to like, the in the manual there was a code on the back and if you didn't have the code you couldn't play the rest of the game. That fucks me up. Like, I, I'm just like, I can't imagine that, I, I, bro, I would have just not played a game after that point. I wouldn't even have, I, I, I wouldn't even have Googled it. I would just let it die. Yeah, I get that, Sun God. I, <laughs> I can't get it. So like, in the sense that, like, open world games tells you too much what to do and Elden Ring doesn't tell you enough what to do. Well, I didn't... <laughs> in my head, the last game that did something so fucking weird and convoluted was like NES. And I, I was just not even... In, I wasn't even born when NES came out. Like, it was that long ago. No. What? You can recover from that? Oh my god, that's an AOE that launches up too? How are you supposed to know? Uh, guys, genuinely, how are you supposed to know which AOEs linger and which ones don't? Okay. The evil glowing? What do you mean? They all glow! Gosh, gotcha. so welcome home, Ghosting. Thank you for 10 months. 10 Thank months you. with Ghost Sis. Very poggers, you got his Rayu. Bow, bow, bow. Evil glowing. I'll try to look next time. I'll try to look. A notebook wouldn't be too much of a stretch to have lore wise an open world game. I agree, I agree. I don't, I'm not a fan of convoluted lore. Alright, here's another thing I'm not a fan of. Just because a thing is too complicated for you to understand the first time around doesn't make it a good thing. Like, it doesn't make it a good, compelling story. I'm talking about Inception, Interstellar, El Elden Ring. And I understand, apparently Elden Ring's lore is amazing. People will rave about it all day. I don't know it though, because I didn't fucking learn it. And I have to say, I think that like Interstellar and like Inception are things that are hard to understand, but they're not good. <laughs> 
Exactly. Like, I feel like the only way for me to even experience it at all is to have somebody explain to me, like, slowly, painstakingly. Okay, I know you guys see that the item description is where all the lore is, but there's all of these old fucking ladies scattered around the game, and every time I talk to them, all they do is word salad shit about fingers and names and, and destiny, and I'm like, what are you even talking about right now? Can I just skip all of this? And I do. I, I fucking swear to god, like, every old lady in this game is just like, Oh, look, <laughs> the fingers, they're up in your jean and they're trembling. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> what does that mean? Who am I fighting next? Just like, just like real life old ladies. Shut up, Tajik! <laughs> I don't understand why they have those old ladies everywhere because every time I talk to them because I think they're gonna say something like relevant and cool but all they say is something super cryptic What treasure? Hope I could walk around it. Understandable, I couldn't. Have a nice day. I... One of my biggest things about that air of effect thing there is that it glows through his body. Which honestly makes it really hard to see him. And with my ADHD and my... Visual impairment, it's rough out here! I'm so dead. <laughs> Man, I really want to play Bloodborne because I've heard it's so much more fun. <laughs> it's very aggressive all the time, apparently. Mm, it's a great game. <laughs> when will they port it to PC? <laughs> PC port copium. Never. Uh, I don't know. Well, they, they they've ported other games, right? Maybe, maybe they'll do it. You know what? From now on, every stream that I do on this channel, I'm gonna start the title with "FromSoft, please port Bloodborne." Do you think they'll hear me eventually? <laughs> What if I change my streamer name to Please Port Bloodborne? <laughs> I'm gonna rebrand. I, I think maybe they'll eventually hear me. Oh god, it hurts. Oh no, it hurts. Ah, what is that one? <laughs> okay, clip that for me so that I can relive the bullshit on their day. Thanks. I literally touched the. <laughs> Whatever the fuck.
fuck it was for me, please. <laughs> I can't even explain the level of bullshit I just went through. Take care, Del Cross. I know, the little bolt exploded next to me and then the big bolt hit me because I wasn't allowed to dodge after. It sucks! No, exactly, Painbrush. I didn't expect to see God of War, so maybe we'll see Last of Us next or, or you know... I also didn't expect to see Horizon, so I'm really excited at Horizons on, like, PC, too. Thanks for the clips. I appreciate you, homies who clip. And all the other homies as well. But extra shout out right now for the homies who do clip. Okay, never mind. His teleporting sucks. Never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> I made peace with it, but just now it was complete bullshit. Ugh, I have to get another drink after this. That's a water bottle, so it's not a drink, unfortunately. Remaster HD of Bloodborne? Oh, that'd be so cool. I I'm not as excited for it since I've never played Bloodborne, so I don't even know how good a remaster it is. But I'm excited for it because you guys told me how much I would enjoy Bloodborne, and I trust you guys. <laughs> as you know, I play very aggressively. Take care, Chili. There are hot odor men in it. Have Persian say no more. I'm excited. Are they all Godfrey size? Where like, am I gonna have to settle a bit? I know it's not a lingering AoE, but an AoE still sucks. And his teleports, they suck too. Hit 
box is weird sometimes. <laughs> I wasn't even touching it. Huh. Nicest character from all us from is in Bloodborne, ironically. What do you mean? Godfrey's in this game. Godfrey's the best FromSoft character. You changed my mind. You can't. <laughs> There's probably a million other characters with more compelling characterization, but Godfrey is the one for me. Teleportation sucks. I take it back. I thought they were all responsive moves, but they're not, so... Godfrey or Wild Horror Lou? Rigo Godfrey's first phase and Wild Horror Lou's the second phase. Aren't they a, like a package deal or vidden? Like, like you get Godfrey, but if you kick him in the nuts the wrong way, he will turn into Horror Lou. <laughs> Am I misunderstanding? <laughs> You mean they're the same man, right? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, Horror Lou's the regular one, and Godfrey's what happens when you kick him in a nuts just wrong? Is that even better, then? hit but that move twice I dodged too early oh fuck I died <laughs> R.I.P. All right, let me go get in there, drink, and I'll be back. <sighs> Damn. <laughs>
<laughs> we're so fucked. <laughs> okay, we're here. We got this. We got this. Carbonated piss. <sighs> oh. All right, guys. Horror Lou became lowered in order to calm himself down. He so he could rule well. He grafted a lie on his back. <laughs> his second phase is real self. Godfrey is basically him on a self-imposed lion-shaped chill pill. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's so interesting, Lolly. I love that. Which one do I like more? I like the honorable version of him that, like, praises me, but then I want him to unleash Horaloo in the bedroom. <laughs> I will be his whore and his Lou in the second phase. I'm just being truthful, okay? I know what I'm about. Just because you're ashamed about your subconscious desires doesn't mean I am. <laughs> Yes, paintbrush, it is! That's what that's a joke! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Stop using the bots, but they're prime material Q talk. Okay, how are we gonna do this? My cat's climbing over my chair. Steve, oh no, thank you for three sub for three months. Enjoy your ability to ray you circle. circle. Hey, kitty. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. My cat's actually being adorable. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if this mic's strong enough for you to hear his purrs, but I'm gonna try anyway. Okay. I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it's strong enough to hear his purrs, but I wish it was. Because he's purring so loud right now. I'm sorry. You guys don't deserve the kitty purrs, apparently. One sec. Kitty, kitty, kitty. He's a purring baby. <laughs> Alright, that's enough kitty purring for you. <laughs> Alright, come on. Down you go. He's so cute. He's so cute. Alright. <laughs> I loosen my mic a bit. Then I just have to fix that. Okay, we're good to go. We can be religion at this. I know kitty purrs are the purest. Cat buff acquired. Maybe I'll counteract my Fia debuff. Mm-hmm. 
my god, I totally thought I dodged that, but I guess I didn't. I guess it's my just desserts. R. I. P. Is a blessing a item bot fodder? <laughs> Why would I remove my debuff that I got from like hugging a woman? <laughs> If you- if anyone comes in and they're like, are you maidenless? I can just point at the debuff and be like, nay! <laughs> That's the whole point! <laughs> Priya, it's her memory! God, I dodged like four times and still got a hit. This is what I get for panicking. Oi, <laughs> shit. You know what? Just take me. <laughs> Where's my badge for hugging a woman? Exactly. How often can you have like irrefutable proof that you've hugged a woman? Hugged a woman passionately, many times even. Ah, uh, dodge. God, Jesus, I hate him. I dodged it! I totally dodged it! It's fine, though. I'll take it. I, I won't take it, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Man, I fucking hate it. I hate- I hate the teleporting, it's so dumb. This is nothing compared to Melania. No, Melania wasn't bullshit RNG, but this guy is super bullshit RNG. They literally just try to... Uh, everything about him isn't too, meant to be fair. He's just meant to have long wind-ups and delayed swings and, and AoEs that linger, so you never really know what you're doing. No, Axosteel, this guy isn't even Godfrey. <laughs> There's nothing to be horny about about this dude. Back 
Goku for real. Welcome home, my ghosting. Thank you guys for 70 months. About you instead, sheesh less than three. I see, Baka. I see. Get up, big red dragon gym. I, this is a no summons run. <laughs> what are you saying? This guy's body is pretty on point. What do you mean, Ryu? <laughs> He's not god free. Random guy, I know you've only said it like 10 times in the last three streams that your whole your whole strategy is just poking people behind a shield. I've heard it like 20 times now, dude. Deb, thank you for the gift sum. <laughs> How many times do you have to say it? <laughs> do I, I already know. Let me try to kill him. Shut up, Axel Seal! What do you think I'm trying to do? Uh oh. Fuck. This guy's a bon capper. I know I'm too horny for him. I'm all charged up from Godfrey. Oh, my cat's over here playing with a toy mouse. It's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. I would kill for him. Hey, kill shot. All of you guys saying get good or variants of get good need to give me five dollars. It's a get good tax. You know how it is. It's not the run, Ramyo Ken. I have no clue what the hell I'm doing. Plus, you have a single face. X Staff, thanks so much for five gift subs. Thank you, thank you, homie. Yo, half person, thank you for the. Okay. <laughs> thank you for paying your get good tax before okay. you said get Here's good. Time. I appreciate it. Very nice of you. <laughs> I'm currently having a time with this boss, ki boss kill shot. This sucks. I just look over and Axel Seal is just like, I don't pay taxes to LMAO. It's like, all right. <laughs> Someone screenshot that and send it to the IRS. <laughs> We got him, boys. This was a long con. I started streaming years ago just to have you guys admit to me that you evade taxes. And then uh, I've been hired by the IRS all along. <laughs> this was the long con. All of you guys admitting you don't do taxes. Get ready. Uh-oh. I'm dead. <laughs> I hate this boss. I don't want to fight him. He sucks. I miss Godfrey. <laughs> Show me your badge then. Baka, do you think IRS is like the fucking FBI? You think they come into your house and they like have an IRS badge? <laughs> Like, I, I can totally understand with, like, FBI that you, you know that in movies they flex their badge, but, like, but, but IRS has a badge. Are you guys being for real right now? I fucked up. Please don't tell me that the IRS has a fucking badge. They do? Do they show up to your house? <laughs> fucking Radagon, stop. Please, I'm begging you to stop spinning. They do, they'll usually mail you, but <laughs> they have a badge. <laughs> Why do you guys know they have a badge? That's the next question. I thought I thought you guys were memeing. <laughs> I 
If you don't spin around him, maybe he won't spin so much. I'm not like pivoting like a ballerina. Thanks, Gray, for Dick the five hundred bits. Do better. Try harder. Eight Have you tried years. killing him? You're really getting your die. money's Eight worth years? here. I am Melenia, Blade of Micaiah. <laughs> Neil. 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 Put these foolish ambitions to rest. <laughs> I miss Melania. Melania was so fun and well balanced compared to this guy. Now I'm just here constantly getting flashbanged by him. Just get fucked in the ass. I know! He flashbangs you every time you go in, so I have to close my eyes and I have to open it when I'm in again and then I get fucked. Would the fight be better if the model was Godfrey but everything was the same? You know, me, you know, you guys aren't thinking big brain enough. Maybe another reason like Godfrey is because of his large frame. Everything he does is more readable, which makes him a more fun boss. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's why. I don't know, though. I don't know shit about 3D animation in games. But at least if it was Godfrey, I could stare at his bulge. I don't give a shit if his penis is tiny. I can... I, he has a prostate, doesn't he? You guys with your, like, what if his dick's small, though? Fuck off! I will finger his ass instead! There are so many ways we can work around this. Prostate's tiny, you can't reach it. That's how it works. Oh my god, I hate this. I really hate this. I just got fucked like five times with the lightning attacks. <laughs> What if he's so big your short arms can't reach it? Look, I have done the math and with Godfrey's prostate, even if it's further along than I think, all I have to do is fist him. <laughs> and I will be able to reach it. <laughs> exactly, Dr. Cure was right. Shove your entire hand slash arm up their ass to reach the prostate if you have to. Why do you do the math? Why the fuck do you think I did the math, Zen? Uh, think, Zen, think! Teleport was so unreadable. I don't know where it was. I don't know if I had to dodge. Ugh, not to mention his lightning bolts were all, which are also unreadable. And he just glided towards me just to fuck me. My God, I hate him.
Yeah, good point. It gave you invisible walls so you don't roll off the map. Not that it really helps against this shit show of a boss. Da, 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 da. Running up the stairs, final boss soup. He has some red hairs. Back to the loop. I have red hairs too. <laughs> we have red hairs. Our red hairs. It's some mercy, at least. I don't know if it is. This blows, and you have to skip the cutscene, and you have to get flashbanged, and you have to go here and do the same shit over and over again, like you're Sisyphus, and this is your existentialist struggle. Pink is just red with some white in it. What's your point, Dr. Cucumber? That really shouldn't hit me. I miss. Hi, Dad. Now I'm dead. <laughs> then you spoke too damn soon. <sighs> okay. I have no plan. The truth is I have zero plan at all. I'm just running at it hoping eventually RNG will favor me and I can kill him. Try unsheath. I've never fucking used unsheath. I don't even know what window of time I have to use for it. And am I, am I even supposed to use R1 or R2? Everything's super unclear when you tell me to use unsheath. Okay, you'll learn his moves, hopefully. Oh my god. I don't- <laughs> I can tell you about his moves, but I can't tell you about how to dodge them. Why would I use Bloody Slash here when he has, like, no window to attack him with? move does damage. No, you're right, zombie. It's even worse, because, like, it's not visually indicative of where he is teleporting to two until you're taking damage. So you roll away from it, but if you roll away from it, it might not prepare you to roll away from the move that he uses after he teleports, and it fucking sucks. <laughs> God, I, he's just such a mess of a boss. 
I'm really, I'm like thinking really hard about how like Sekudo old bosses are readable and nice to respond to. And then I think about how in Fudi, which is an indie game, all bosses were like readable and nice to respond to. And I understand there's a lot of jank involved in a game where like you can kind of like, <laughs> you can kind of like, um, build as you need to, but still. How is it so janky? Why is it so janky? Was Owl readable and nice to respond to? He was! I really liked Owl in Sekudo. Fucked. I'm so fucked. I can't. I cannot read his lightning bolt attacks. I just can't. There's. If you react when he does a downswing, you're dead. So you just have to know what the timing is, and I don't know what it is. Pretty readable. How do you react to his lightning attacks? If you, if you found his lightning attacks, like, readable, I honestly think part of it might be because you didn't read them, you got hit by them, but you lived through them, so you're okay with it. Dodge. His timings... suck. Every boss except Melania came down to learning timing. Melania was also timing. This guy is not timing. Okay. <laughs> so So many times with like an attack that is like dodgeable, I get caught up in the AoE of it all. Like, that's another scenario where, depending on the attack that he used there, I could have dodged either him or his lightning bolts. D and it's like pure luck of the draw. These attacks here are kind of readable. Not the fucking stomp, because the stomp and the lightning bolt are both super tight timings. I'm sure somebody who like counts frames can tell you exactly how little frames it allows you to react with. Dead. I think there's an issue here where you guys don't have to like watch your own playthroughs over and over again for you to, re to realize how few frames you have to react to this guy. He is just not readable the same way that Margot's lightning attack where he swings it downwards isn't readable. Dev, thank you for the gift sub. Just dodge, of course, peanut butter. Give me five dollars for the get good tax. I like his lightning attacks are not readable. I I don't know in what world or game that you played where that's considered readable, but it isn't. The easiest to dodge the lightning. What the? F what do you mean? He tosses it out like willy nilly. 
Like, these attacks here, if I get hit, it's on me. There's a huge wind-up. That second swing, honestly, these are all my mistakes, I can admit that. But when I get hit by the lightning attack, it's kind of just like he tossed it in there for fun. And he fucks me, and then I die. You can say that about any attack, Gray, but that's not- that, that's about a use- like, that's useless. Yeah, the dodge projectile and not the swing. The projectile is the swing when you're close range to him. You know what? Next time he does the thing, I'll just tell you exactly my thought process. The hand flashes before he tosses bolts. Well, when you're close, yeah, well, I had to be close because I'm melee. This is the part where I can get super fucked. The AoE sucks. You can't dodge in to hit him. That 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 attack has a fucking linger a leg to it. I'm fucked up. And I, I want you to know, by the way, that's not readable in the fact that he like lifts this thing up and there's an AoE. And unless you've seen that attack before, you have to know there's an AoE for you to jump there. Also, the lightning is not readable. It's not on a downswing that he throws out the lightning. He throws it pretty much instantaneously from when he charges it up. So you're fucked. It's not readable. You guys are weird. J-Rock, thank you for a prime sub. The AoEs are <laughs> Thank you, Refuse. Thank you for the 400 bits. I don't... I see no argument for his attacks are readable. I just really don't. There, There is no... Nothing to read because you're dead. The lightning seems pretty grounded. No, you can't jump over it. Not the ones that just throw itself. Dodge into him for AoE stuff. It's not consistent though, because if you dodge into him, you can get hit by the swing of his AoE. Oh my god. Well, that's because you learned a timing for it, Zorkon. That's not because it's readable. I think a lot of you guys are like, okay, I died to the boss a hundred times, so I learned how to dodge the thing. That doesn't make the move readable. Set pattern between moves you can follow. Radagon doesn't. I'm reacting. I am probably reacting better to Radagon than a lot of people can, but it doesn't change the fact that half his moves can't be read. His teleport itself can just be all over the place. Sometimes you don't even see the teleporting animation starting up again before he's right next to you and damaging you. There's so many things about this boss that are just unreadable, and I feel like I feel like you guys are just like, it's easy, just dodge. Like, and I'm just like, that doesn't mean it's like a readable attack. It's not something someone who opens the game can just understand and dodge. It's it's meant for you to have done it like a hundred times. And by the time you do it a hundred times, you can do it. Or if it's negligible damage, you don't care if it hits you.
Like, all of this is readable. All of this is fine. Yeah, I think that's the thing with this game, is you don't... You don't read the move, you learn how to react to it after dying to it a million times. Okay, okay, then... <laughs> and so Arkham Knight, clip, clip just now, and tell me, how was I supposed to dodge that lightning attack? I was literally mid-roll and I couldn't dodge it. These lightning attacks suck. He teleported, lightning attacked, and if you're already dodging his teleport, you're fucked for his lightning attack. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> like, you guys say it's readable, but it just isn't. And and I don't even know why you guys consider readable anymore. You're like, a machine can read the first frame and dodge it, I guess, but... Like, for real, go ahead and clip just now. With that, with that, with that lightning attack. And you tell me how I was supposed to dodge it. It, so, so, so V, you're telling me I wasn't supposed to dodge it because it was not on top of me. And if I hadn't dodged it because it wasn't on top of me, I could have dodged his lightning attack? That's, that's dumb. Because sometimes his teleport does not have a tail. Sometimes he teleports next to you and it loads so quickly that you, you don't know where he's teleporting to. So your wisest option is to dodge. I'm more pissed off at you guys saying shit is readable that isn't readable. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, everything here, his swings of his hammer, they're all readable. You can look for his downswing and you can react. Even his... <laughs> even his three lightning bolt there is readable until the second one, which you just have to know he's gonna toss out. So you have to dodge. This is not readable! This lightning attack, where he jumps in the air and he throws it down, is not readable at all. There is no, there is no indication he's throwing it down. If you dodge, you either dodge too early or you dodge too late. You read? No, I didn't read it. That's not reading, J Rock. I fucking dodged it because I knew of how bullshit of a timing it is. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous because like some of you guys are like reasonable like Zorkon is and you're just like yeah I played it a lot so I could eventually dodge it and some of you guys are like yeah well Rayu it's totally readable you're just not reading it and I'm like I am I am so reading it but I'm reacting to all the wrong things because what are you reacting to the upswing or the downswing you're fucked because like it's just meant for you to learn the timing as you play you're not reacting to any move or indication from him Everything, ev I I'm not saying this lightly. Every hammer move of his, of his on the downswing, you can react. On a downswing, you can react to every single one of his hammer moves. The lightning is, is not something that you can dodge unless you know what's coming. I will again say, Fading Spades, throughout the entirety of Dark Souls 3, I never encountered attacks like Elden Ring that are simply so fast you can't dodge it. I played the entire of, entirety of it with the same build as here. There were no moves that I couldn't react to. None. Like, as, none at all. And so I understand if my qualm with this game is because it's a different game. But... Ultimately, like, my enjoyment of the game is based on how readable the moves are. And I think this boss has several moves that are unreadable. And you guys aren't really making... You guys are just saying they aren't are readable when they aren't, which isn't an argument. It's just a, like, shitty thing to say because you learn how to do it. Drunk. And you're acting like it's something that everyone can do based on it. Great Demon, welcome home, my ghost. Thank you for two months. 
<laughs> you can't read it. Look, when, when we get to a lightning thing again, I'll tell you again why you can't read it. This is readable. I That's my bad. Every hammer swing I don't dodge is my bad. That's not readable. <laughs> I literally dodged on his downswing. I've dodged on his upswing. None of it is right. You're supposed to just learn the timing. No, Bodfather is right. You can't know. It's based on the pattern. So, like, those of you who are like, yeah, well, you just have to dodge. You just have to read it and dodge. You're not right. <laughs> like, it is simply unreadable. His lightning attacks were not made for you to look at and react. They were made to, like, be like, you know it's coming after you died to him, like, a hundred times. If you know it's coming, it's because you guessed. No, it's also just because, like, you play the boss enough that you learn his patterns. Which is fine. But that doesn't mean the attack is readable. A readable attack is one that you can react to on your first time playing through the boss. Your first time playing through the boss, you should be able to... If you have crap reflexes enough, you should be able to, like, react to it. This one is not readable. I, I can dodge it now! Not because I read it. But because I've got fucked by the timing so many times. You can't even see the downswing, dude. hammer attacks after a while of playing against it because you can't see it the stomp always takes me by surprise but it's it is readable you just have to react by the time he's lowering his arm and you'll catch yourself in that dodge timing when i beat melania a couple days ago devil's blight if you listen carefully to the sound when he is going to shoot the lightning you can evade there i'm not I, I don't have a, I've, I've auditory processing issues. It's really hard for me. I'm not hard of hearing, so I don't need subtitles. But it helps me, you know. So like being like, having difficulty processing auditory cues is rough for me because it's like if you're reacting based on the sound, I can't. I can't do the same thing. I'll try to listen for it, but chances are I won't be able to hear it. Lightning in the air is fine. The one where he jumps really, really high up, I react on his downswing, and it helps me dodge more times than it doesn't. Sometimes I try to predict the timing, but it's really the downswing of the lightning when he's up that he's actually hitting. But with his two lightning bolts attacks that he has in phase one and phase 1.5, no, you can't close the distance while lightning strike. I tried it, brother. The stomp usually happens after left swing with the three strike combo, and then he stomps at least one sec delayed and stomp. I appreciate the comment, Peanut Butter, but I don't like... 
I don't like combo systems in this game where I have to remember. It's like one, two, three. Okay, he might do this move now. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, four. It, it kind of throws off my rhythm and just isn't fun to react to. Like, I'd rather just react to moves as they're being tossing out at me. Uh, and ultimately not have to memorize combos. It's more fun that way. And that's another re problem that I had with Malekith. Mix-ups are fine. Well, I say this, but... Yeah, the stomp is hard to react to, but it might just be because I'm not looking at the right places. These are all fine, because on a downswing, you can dodge it. Sometimes your camera, like, jumps up too high. But ultimately, it's still readable. This is also readable, because if you dodge on the, like, downswing, you can do it. This one's rough, but it's still readable. Whoops. Yeah, I'm... I, I'm thinking about those lightning attacks. He didn't use them in the last one. But... What are the three... So, so with the three lightning... <sighs> Let me fucking pull out the Emma's paint again. So that you really understand what the fuck I'm saying. Again, I'm not a Souls-like expert. I'm not someone who, like, knows the frames. I can't be like, Hey, this attack is eight frames, so it's actually imp physically impossible or anything like that. I can only say that having played against this boss, this is this is my impression of it, alright? Okay. Whoops. Bum bum bum. So there's there's two lightning attacks, right? One where he's like up in the air and he like throws out lightning. Do 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 do. There's that one. And then there's one where he throws out three from a standing position. Right? Right? Those are two, right? Those are two big ones. This one can be readable because there is an animation where he lifts his hand and it shines. It is not readable when he teleports. It is, it is 100% unreadable if he teleports. If he teleports, you do not get to see the hand shining. All you see is the fucking lightning being thrown out, and you cannot read that. That is something that simply you have to predict. All right? Feel free to contest me. Go back and do this frame by frame if you have to. If it's just one frame, I like, I guess whatever, you're technically right. But mostly, if he teleports right before this move, you cannot read it, and you will fucking die. They just want you to die. Maybe so, Sun God. But I'm, t I'm, I'm here explaining to you guys, the ones of you who are so adamant that it's readable. It isn't. It is not readable. <laughs> the one where he's up in the air and he jumps in the air and throws this out, you have a second to see this, but the downswing is not... You cannot react at the beginning of the downswing. If you react at the beginning of the downswing, you are dead. You have to react prior to the downswing, which makes it unreadable because what the fuck are you reacting to? You have to really become an expert at reading the upswing. But if this is your first time coming to the boss, like you are not going to you're not going to do it on the upswing. You're waiting for the downswing. So you're fucked. Like like these are the these are the two lightning attacks and they're not like they're not readable attacks. They're attacks that kind of fuck you over and kill you. I, I, I don't understand you guys saying it's like, oh no, it's totally readable, just dodge. I You can dodge them. I'm not saying you can't dodge them. I'm saying you can't read them, which means that you have no indication to dodge them other than your prior experience, which is hard to do when you're drunk. <laughs> so what, like, what, what's your guys' point? Like, I'm, I'm just supposed to memorize it, which I have to do eventually because that's the way the Elder Ring is. 
Anyway, if, if, if this is... <laughs> the right is an issue of poor telegraph and left is a weird timing, but you're calling them both unreadable. I think this one just genuinely is pretty unreadable because if it's poor timing, then it's unreadable. Like, even with delayed attacks, like, at least there are frames of animation. Like, with delayed attacks, you have to... Re you're probably reacting to the beginning of the downswing, which is a problem on its own, but then eventually there's a second frame of downswing. That's what you react to. They usually make it kind of readable in that sense. Basically, what I'm saying is there's a downswing, right? Like, like if there's a huge winding attack, then the, their arm will be up here with the attack. Let's give him a sword, right? Like, there will be a huge attack. Then, in the next frame, there will be this, like, got him moment where he's holding the sword again, but he's not swinging it. And then there's that the, the one that you're supposed to react to. This between these two motions when you react, but ultimately that's readable. There are there are frames to reference. There are no frames to reference here. You can't react to this at all. He just fucking tosses it out. Like I have I have no clue what was what is readable about this attack. Like what is readable about it? What are you reacting to? There is you might be like, oh, when he lifts his arm a little bit, it is probably like two frames. I don't think you can react to that. React your projectile itself? You can't. I've tried many times to react your projectiles. It does not work. You just have to know. After 40k, I think that's ultimately my point. And it, and it just feels bad. <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks. Thank you for saying that I need I don't know what's going on, but I believe in you. His hand you moves a little bit. Readable, that's readable not joke here. readable. Another... Another thing I have problem with is, you know, his attack where he, like, makes the floor, like, totally lightning. Then the lightning bolts, like, come up. It makes it super unreadable as well. Like, there's so many unreadable attacks to him. I don't know what you guys are saying is readable here. All right, I'm not going again. Oh, I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, Lolly, I, I. There's a slight shift, but there's so much going on that that slight shift might as well not be a thing. Yeah, the right one. Like, this is fine. This is not fine. <laughs> the, the the attack where he raises his arm and it glows and he tosses it out, that's fine. The next attack... It's not just delay timing. It, 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 there is... There is no, like, visual indication. See, both of those had visual indication, so they're okay. The only times that they're not readable... Is, uh, if you're using it, um... If he uses it during a teleport, in which case the teleport animation coincides with the tell. He does 360s all the time, Sweet Cheeks. I can't even be mad about it anymore. I just have to deal with it. I did not read that lightning bolt paintbrush. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. <laughs> just because I dodged it does not mean I read it. I, I've been forced to after like fighting him for the last couple bits to learn the timing or die.
No, exactly, Lolly. Lolly really gets me. The difference is seeing a sentence and being able to read the words versus someone telling you what the sentence says and you just remembering a meaning associated with a random symbol part pattern. He's stuck again. That attack is not very... It's not very readable, but it is readable. You maybe have like... Five frames before he fucking throws his fist down and destroys your ass. Readable as knowing what attack is coming and not the attack being able to dodge on reaction. I don't know where you guys' definition of readable comes from because I came up with the word like playing games myself and I interpret it as you read the enemy's motion and you react. I, I, if, if, if it was merely knowing what attack is coming then there is no reading action like you might as well remove the verb and any connotation of the word whatsoever. Reading is an act of reading like you read and you react. I, I Like where did the read part go? Yeah, yeah, like, I, I agree, Random Guy. Readable means the animation tells you when to dodge. Where, oh, if it's just a memory, if it's a matter of memorizing and reacting, there is no reading. You can tell what the enemy is going to do based on visual slash audio slash other cues, which can in turn a which can include a pattern of attack. I can understand if you understand an attack is coming because of like a pattern, you know? Like you know that after three hits he's gonna do a fourth hit that's like if you, either you dodge it real fast or you don't. I interpret reading as you read a motion from them and you go for it. I can understand, Circum Knight, that 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 misunderstanding. Uh, that, that you read a pattern, but at the same time, it's ultimately not readable if at the end of the pattern, he can swap it up, right? For example, Margit, the first boss. I'm sorry if I fucked his name up. I always forget, I always forget his name. Um, he has a combo that can or might not end with him using his dagger. I didn't like that move. I didn't find it very fun. Uh, and that's just because it's just kind of like you can't react to it unless you always play as if that move is coming. What's your point, TNT? We're on this boss again. What do you mean? I've been on Melania for like 20 hours. I've been on this boss for 5 hours. Like, what's your point? It, like, oh no, we're on the same boss for 5 hours, which is to be expected from a Dark Souls boss. The sound it makes, but you need to focus on that. I have had no like auditory cues. There's a couple of attacks. Um, what's it called? Like Loretta had some nice auditory cues that were pretty nice to respond to, but uh, that one dragon, um, 
sucked. That one dragon that was like hidden away and you had to run up to him and you had two hex, he sucked a lot. Go for a downswing. I'm fine even with like moments that he spins around and fucks his readability, but it sucks anyway. I hate the area effect a lot. I once again do feel like area effect in the game is meant to just artificially inflate the uh, difficulty. I really feel in his 1.5 phase. You see it? I understand you guys keep telling me that the hammer has an indication, but at the same time, the area effect is always bigger than I think it is. The sound is the key. Look, I'm not hard of hearing, but I volunteered with a lot of kids who are hard of hearing. I have auditory processing issues. That just means that certain sounds that repeat or certain sounds are just not processed by me. I don't hear it. I, 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 hear, I don't hear it at all. It's lost in the music, maybe. Okay, I dodged that pretty perfectly, but I still got fucked. Is the sound? I don't... I don't hear a sound, you guys! I'm, I'm listening as hard as I can, but I don't hear anything.
when he jumps out and casts a spell, it does a sound. I don't hear it. <laughs> I just don't hear it. I'm listening, but I don't hear it. I think it's lost amidst all of the other sounds. I value readability in a game. Just the ability to see what's coming. I think Sekiro does it best. I think Sifu has better readability than Elden Ring. Uh, depends on the boss, honestly. That stomp is not great for readability. But it's okay, I guess. Still readable. Technically, if you are looking at his leg, it can kill you. I think a lot of AoEs in the game are not very readable. Hey, Kilps. Maybe problem for me is the music. I don't know that if I turn off the music that I'll be able to distinguish the lightning sounds from the other lightning sounds, because... Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, because I'm not listening closely. It sounds like, like the stomps and his attacks, they all make the same sound as the lightning thing that you're trying to point me to. If it was a completely different sound, I think I would have noticed it by now. But I think it all sounds the same as when he swings his hammer or anything else. Like, everything sounds like thunder and lightning here. Lightning sound. Lightning AOE sound. Swing. 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 Lightning sound, lightning sound. Duh, no sound. I can't do it. I also can't focus on visuals and sound at the same time if it's gonna be so hard. Like, him swing there has no audio cue at all. So... A bolt summon sound, a launch sound, and an impact sound? I, I, it all sounds like lightning. Why do I have to learn to hear him? <laughs> I might as well keep going with my audio, uh, my visual way, even though I'm being punished right now by having my eyes assaulted. Yeah. So for these hammer swing sounds, uh, you can't react it react based on sound. The swing comes after the hit is thrown. Okay, was that one of the things you guys said had an auditory cue for? Because am I supposed to react to his first fucking swing ending? Like I'm supposed like he has a swing. Sound and it's supposed to dodge immediately at the end of the swing sound. Yeah, I'm like, how does that help me dodge it? I'm. <laughs> Just because something has a sound doesn't mean it helps you. Just the orange woke up on Lego Sing. Thank you, Disa, for 10 months. Hey, Take Rainy. care. Enjoy Odin around Ring. Much cause, avoiding spoilers. But just wanted to say hi and wishing you best of luck. I think you guys are trying to just just counter what I'm saying and be like, no, 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 it's totally readable. Just listen to the sound. And it's like, no, there is no sound.
generally what I think is happening here. And you can feel free to like say it if, if that's not what you think is happening here. Is that I think you guys played the boss and during your run you eventually learn how to dodge him without relying on your reflexes. Just because of the jank timing. You're just like, oh, he's in the air. Let me dodge real fast. And you're not reacting to audio or visual cues. But now that I'm pointing out that it's a problem, you're trying to find audio and visual cues to try to like act like it's not a problem. <laughs> I think that's what's happening here. It's like you didn't worry about it during your playthrough, but now that I'm like, man, I, it's not very readable. There's no audio or visual cues. You guys are trying to find some, and there just isn't. And I think, like, it's just something you have to memorize, which is my problem with it. Whether it's memorize the pattern or wear armor and take the hit. That's how I feel it is, Sophie. And that's, that's again, my issue is just I don't think it's readable, so I don't think it's fun. For me, personally, who values readability... Can't say anything because I use a mimic here. I think most people probably use a mimic or a smell spell, and that's fine. But trying to play this boss, just reading him, sucks. <laughs> I try. I'll try to narrate. You go in and you can get two hits in with like R two and and jump R two. Go for the down swing, down swing, down swing. I probably could have gotten hit there, but I got lucky. Dodge, jump, swing, wait. Dodge, dodge, jump, swing. Dodge, jump, swing. Go for the repost. Smack him in the balls. Um, he's gonna do his super epic move where he goes in the air now. And uh, you can see a very split second where he like goes down and then that's where he can dodge. Uh, I, it's a fucking lightning. Fuck the lightning! I can't... I can't read it. You can't react to his jump. You have to just know the timing, which is fucked up because I'm drunk. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like, I'm supposed to, like, count shit in my head? No, fuck that shit. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! Okay, anyway, that's... I hope you understand my thought process now. <laughs> I'm too drunk to memorize the timings to evade shit that you can't read. Which I haven't had a problem with with the other bosses. <laughs> you s shut up, Con! I beat him through his olfactory cues. You just have to smell the start of burning smell of lightning to dodge it. That's you guys. That's what you guys sound like. Yo, I love you, Zal. All right, two hits. Dodge on a down swing. You can get two hits in here. Nope, you get one hit in. I was wrong. Dodge. Dodge. Ah! I didn't dodge when I said I would. Thanks, Scree Demon. Thanks. <laughs> It sucks! It's it's just not readable. Like, I don't know.
Just because he me makes a sound, Ava, doesn't mean it helps you dodge. It just means he makes a sound. It's the same way how he makes a sound when he swings his hammer, but 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 if you react at the beginning of the sound, you're dead. You've been hit. Two hits. Dodge, dodge. Apex. Ugh, no clue how to dodge that shit. But yeah, this one's okay because there's like probably five, six frames. I don't know, my eyes doesn't count. Where he like lowers his hammer. Start teleporting all over the place yet? died. <sighs> so you did. I did. I fucking died. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think a lot of people who probably backseat probably like cheese, not cheese, sorry. Probably beat the boss using mechanics that I didn't use, and I feel like it's just not very valid advice. I've seen Phase 2 sunlight for a second. Not that it helps, it just sucked. I go pee, I'll be right back.
All right, let's go. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. Damn, how are you guys so fast with the welcome backs? Thanks, homies. Whew, let's see. I have really okay attacks. Not great, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for welcome backs. Now I go murder. Murder, dur, 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 dur. Or get murdered. You know, one way or the other. Ah! Shouldn't hit me. Fuck. I hate his Ailey. I hate his Ailey so much. It sucks. I'm upset about it. Beyond just timing Zekjala, because like you can dodge the swing, but then you don't dodge the um, AOE, which kind of sucks. I hate that so much in a boss. Okay. The AOE have a slight linger. I hate these lingering AOE. about his like teleport it can be like so close to you enough so that like jumping and dodging seems to do like nothing <laughs> oh, it's like learning a whole new different boss when you get to this part Backwards teleport is always tricky. That's one thing I would say no one can argue. J-Rock, you haven't had my experience streaming this goddamn game because I can say, man, that backwards teleport kind of sucks. And then someone will be like, oh, <laughs> you merely have to dodge backwards and wait for your chance to hit him again, you foolish little, little fucking woman. Like, I'm sitting here like, for real? Like, I, I it sucks. <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up! Like, I understand anything, anything can be res 
responded to technically, but god damn, I'm sick of hearing it. I'm unhinged. I will fucking go insane. I swear. Just roll more. Is this fucking true? It's not though, because like you can roll more and get fucked by this boss, just like I did just now. I did three panic rolls. I got my ass ate. Just roll at the right time. I guess you're right, but it, but half of the people who say just roll don't even know how the fuck they did it the first time. If they even got to this boss, give up your foolish woman ambitions. <laughs> oh, foolish little minx! You think you can take me? <laughs> Foolish woman. Mayhaps if you had a penis like mine, you'd hear those audio warnings better. It deflects from my foreskin into my ears. <laughs> it's like the fucking... <laughs> it's like echolocation. To read when he does like a quadruple fucking Yuri on ice it's a flip. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. This fucking sucks. Jesus. I'm, I'm fucked up just in tears. I'm going through a lot right now. <laughs> I can see their moves before he makes them with my mind's eye. <laughs> you merely have to le reach the level of enlightenment that I have. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't even know what the hit timing anymore is when you can just teleport all over the place. come up with like a little jingle to help me with that, but I, it didn't help. <laughs> I just fucking died. <laughs> I was like, maybe if I come up with like a funky little tune for myself, I might be able to dodge it. Nope.
Man, this, <laughs> this boss so bland. I can't even joke about it. Maximus, you so fucking right. But God, I wish he was like God free so I can at least make horny comments the whole time. But no. God. Shut up, Dr. Cucumber. Unlike you, Rayu, we men use our penises as antenna to navigate and react to our surroundings. Bar to help your music cues. I got you in a second, Sylvie. Let me do this one real fast. I'll try to remember after this run to do it. I do. I miss Godfrey. He's thick and he, he treats me right. What else do you need in a pathetic little man? Look at Radagon. What the fuck does he have going on? Dude's wearing a fucking bath towel. He's got nothing. I'm dead. Whoops. He has shiny attacks. Godfrey is Radagon's husband. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Godfrey is my has husband. I will not share him. He is mine. All right, let's swap to let's swap to let's swap to Bard Rayu. Bard Rayu has no emotes <laughs> as as of right now. But 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 Bard Rayu does exist. Hello, I am here now. It's me, your loyal Bard, here to tell you uh, why the timing of, of Radagon is bullshit. <laughs> you can trust me because I have a harp. Uh, that means that I have musical knowledge, but I don't actually have musical knowledge. But <laughs> here you sing us a ditty about bad frames. <laughs> oh, his frames fucking suck, and he's a terrible boss. <laughs> Tell us the tale of bullshit AOEs and timing. You know, I, I've i been, while I've been working on grad school stuff these last few days, I've been watching the Rick and Morty fucking Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon um, commentary. Like, the creators of Rick and Morty commentated, like, all of the episodes. My favorite part about it, they'll just fucking break out into rap. <laughs> One of the homies starts beatboxing and they just start fucking going ham. I love it. <laughs> I do that all the time with my little homie. It makes me miss him. I didn't... I, a couple of times now, I've been trying to just add a sip, but instead I add a rip and a sip. But what does it fucking matter? Chat, stop gaslighting you for sound cues yet. No, Frosty, the, uh, the gaslighting never really stops. It just kind of evolves, you know? Chat will collectively gaslight me, and then they'll, like, backpedal and be like, No, 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 you misunderstood Rayu, and I'll be like, Man, how did I misunderstand something that, like, ten of you guys were saying at once? And I just sit there and be like, Okay, sure. <laughs> it's our duty as chat to gaslight her. <laughs> Drunk Rayu by the end of the day is going to believe that the moon is gone. <laughs> A gaslight girl boss gatekeep Radagon. Don't worry, Avatar. I, I might get mad once in a while, but that's not lasting. I merely have to like be like, man, I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. But alright, we agree to disagree. <laughs> That's awkward. I'm dead. So 
does he like not bleed at all? Asking for a friend. That old Ryu looked drunk, so no one believed her. But this new Ryu is cute and reliable looking. All right. <laughs> Allow me to say this now that I am in a more uh, believable form. Elden Ring has a lot of bosses with weird lingering AoEs and weird delayed attacks that suck. <laughs> you can't believe me because I'm Bard Ryu and I don't have alcohol in my hand. I believe it. I she she looks like she's right, so we have to believe her. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that is clearly a harp, not alcohol. Therefore, I believe you. <laughs> you have succeeded in the charisma role. Shut up. <laughs> Please, Barry, you for me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jump attacks. Fuck it. We. I don't know what else to do except this build, so I'm guess I'm gonna go in again, again. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot contest the bard charisma. You must be right. <laughs> Oh my god, the panic rows are real, but it worked out for once. Oh, that did not work for me. I'm on Bloodhound step, but I never use it. Don't even question it, dog. The Ash of War is merely something I, I sometimes use. I died. Can I question it? Just a little as a trait? No. Nay, you may not. <laughs> Q-Talk, I don't have glasses on this model. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, the, but just pretend they're there. Close your eyes <laughs> and you might see uh, glasses on my face. Bart Ryu monocle. That would be very cute, Florentine. Fun like a million degrees there. Are you good? But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm dead. <laughs> if I have Monaco, I look at a detective. There's a little detective radio if you look in my uh in my box right now. So anyway, the other day I was looking for Dujinshi's <laughs> Harp has an opening with a straw in it. Oh yeah, shut up, Seven Kev. Don't let out my secrets like this. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to I'm trying to lead up to it smoothly, but I don't want to get there smoothly. Help me. God. Hmm. 
Bum, bum, bum. Please do tell. I was looking for uh, 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 six digits with like really big buff dudes. You know, the kind of big buff dude that like when he bends over you, he covers your entire body. <laughs> Surprisingly a hard thing to find. You will not believe the number of Dujinshis with a big buff dude. Uh, where, the, where they're in the cover and they look really big and buff, but... Uh, but there but there is no sex scenes that accentuate how buff they are. So they might as well not be big and buff. They might as well just be a generic protagonist. I don't understand the point. <laughs> what do you mean, Kentai is not made for women? The best tag, a uh, mind break. I think my game crashed. You good? It's not good. Gotta make your own. Bro, I can't draw big buff dudes. They just got so much meat on them. I don't know where the, where it all fucking goes. Uh, if I had my way, I'd put it all on their ass. Which isn't the right thing. I would be honored if there was a Dujinshi of me. Although I am on in hentai, so that's kind of like a huge step for me. <laughs> As you know, the picture of me eating my own ass has circulated r slash hentai and r slash yuri. And now I've been on in hentai, so truly I've made it. <laughs> Next I want a full like 20 page Dujinshi of me and then we'll work up to an anthology, okay? <laughs> Art trimmer as featured on r slash hentai and r slash yuri and an hentai. We did it, boys! We in it! Hey, Dr. Potato. Mind break makes, makes some women at bottom. Avinson, there are mind break dujinshis with a top woman and they peg you until you become a melting puddle of a man. And those are very based dujinshis. Shut up. Shut up, peanut butter. Tis a long tale of problems, as I, as Bard Rayu, shall talk... <laughs> I can't even read it, it's going too much. Shall talk of a tale where the boss's sound cue is something of a mess. The chat exults there as a sound cue before the hit is nothing but a spout of shit. <laughs> Hitboxes are something of a superstitious and ever-changing being, one may say. Tis a bullshit thing to hit me, though the chat disagrees and exults I am drunk or I need to get good. All in the day's struggles of the story of Radagon. To research such dujinshis, just come come to the Discord. Oh, oh, we got plenty. Let's be a first make reverse fuda. I want reverse mind break where the target of the mind break is an ugly bastard. I'm tired of ugly bastards having the top dominant role. I want to use my prostate fingering technique to train an ugly bastard. <laughs> Why can't we subvert my expectations this much? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Why is the game not showing up yet? <laughs> There's one recently where the ugly bastard reintegrated into society. Hello, put the, put the six digits in the Lou channel so I may I may witness it. Femdom ugly bastard, put it in the Lou's channel. I had to read all of them. Mm -hmm. 
Where the sauce at? Give me the nuclear codes. We're still alive. We're still alive. My weapon, Raven, spring to a god that I don't believe in. Mama, mama, mama. Like I said, it's hard to read. Okay, I'm doing my best. If it was pure reflexes based, Drunk Ray, you got this. But it's not reflexes based, so Drunk Ray, you don't got this. Nah. Oh, because I got time and she's got freedom. Um, it's when a heart breaks, no, it don't break even. Down and down and swing, down and down, up, down and swing. Now, swing, down and down. And Ugh. What what a pain in my ass. <laughs> what a fucker. Take care of Zorkon. Well, chances are I'm not winning tonight. I'm just gonna die more. Ugly bastard with a girl in charge. What an exciting idea. I love it so much. I want more. I wanted to go like, you know, those 200 page anthologies where they slowly like breed and train a girl into becoming a cum slut. But I want the cum slut to be the ugly bastard. I have, I have very specific desires and tastes. I just like things that subvert your expectations with a lot of role reversal on the way, you know? Why are you guys, like, judging this? I have very specific tastes! I've never lied about this! She's got freedom Cause when the heart breaks, no, it don't break Even no, mama, 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 mama. Take me to church. I worship. Fuck, I'm fuck died. A gem reader, help me. <laughs> I've gone through everything today. I've been, I've, I've been gaslit. I've, I've been girl bossed. I've been, I've been gatekeeped. I, I need a break. Help me. <laughs> I wasn't 
cancelled! Someone go cancel me on Twitter right now! I don't know what I did, but go ahead! <sighs> Take me to church, I'll worship Like a dog at the shrine of your lands I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife off of me. Da, da, less. Death, oh good God. Let me give you my life. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Oh my god! This guy sucks! This guy fucks. No, Godfrey fucks. This guy just sucks! Loop, 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 loop. This guy stinks! <sighs> Me the church hours of like a dog And the shine of your lies Thanks, Quaver. <laughs> I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife off of me that I got hit twice from one move and I kinda wanna die about it <laughs> he doesn't use gaslighting, he uses electricity. No, he smites you with the fucking power of God himself. It's not even lightning, it's holy damage. Literally smiting. We're, we're getting smote. I fester in a tilt every goddamn time, Frosty. It's how it's, it's, it's the only way I can do this. Take me to judge. Oh, wow, that was pretty bullshit, honestly. Wow, that's also bullshit, but it's fine. I'm dead. I hate that he twisted around himself so fast there. Oh my god. Hello? Game? Game? -o? Game? Oh, it's back. Ronnie, welcome home, my ghost. Say thank you and summer five months. Ray, you love. Okay. <sighs> Take me to church, I worship like a dog At the shrine of your lives I'll tell you my sins Whoops And you can Shop in your knife Oh, that AOE hits <laughs> God, Radicon just fucks me all night with no foreplay. What's the point? <laughs> Every time I die, I feel. <laughs> I might as well be made in list Dr. Cucumber. Michael sleeps, I'm going through a lot 
live right now. <laughs> Fucking put up with this shit, fucker. <laughs> we thought Drunk Ray was here to save us from Drunk. Oh, wait. <laughs> we thought Bard Ray was here to save us from Drunk Ray, but has only accelerated the madness. I'm fucked up. He's such a piece of shit. What? What is- what are you even supposed to do? You just have to die and eat shit. God, I just- I, I just want some nice- nice foreplay Radagon. Why can't we have Godfrey as your phase one? Why do we have to have Radagon be the phase one and Elden Beast be the phase two, dude? Nobody wanted out El Elden Beast. Nobody! I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. for my drunken reflexes, you motherfuck. I can react to most of your things. No, I forgot about your stupid little ALO. E. Well, here we go. I'll go here, drink some fucking soup. Come back to Radagon. Dead? Do I die here? I die. I'm died. I died. I died in like one hit. What do you mean you never saw that move before, Tresito? I got killed by it by like 20 times now. It's just his grab move. It kills you. You get grabbed and they spank your ass and and murder you instantly. That's hot. No, fuck sunlight. He has nothing. 
nothing, nothing on Godfrey. Godfrey's grabs were hot. This guy's grabs suck compared to him. Uh oh. <laughs> I miss Melania, Blade of Makilla. <laughs> Me too, Frosty. <laughs> I miss her every day. <laughs> you know, Godfrey's my number one, but Melania's my number two, and Godfrey's my number uh, 169. This guy doesn't even taunt you. This guy doesn't even, like, know how to foreplay. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who, like, you go into the bedroom with and he, like, maybe grunts two times and then comes on your kneecap. Like, it's not the same. He's not, like, Godfrey. Who do you think you are, Radagon? You don't know anything. That's me? Ryan, what? <laughs> Why are you taking yourself down like this? <laughs> Emotionless sex tag. It's less exciting when it's the dude. I don't know what gender Radagon is. All I know is Radagon is about as, like, uh, unfucking. Feasible as as men are during sex. <laughs> Love yourself. Know that you are a better lover than Radagon. <laughs> Grunts twice and comes. <laughs> when he's fused with Makilla. Oh no, Makilla. Makilla, get out of there. Who is Marika again? I forgot. Down swing, so you can go in for a jump here. Down swing, down swing. Kill! Down swing! Down swing, murder! Down swing! No! Down swing! Down swing. Why? He fucking f did like a ballerina twist again. Like he's. Like, fuck. What are you even doing, Radagon, you piece of shit? Right, he's coming on my kneecap. Marika, <laughs> I, the mom of Mog, Morgoth, Godwin, Melania, and Makilla. Godwin stands out a lot in that list. Ugh. Ragons a fucking nightmare is what he you what they are. Ryan, thank you for the two hundred bits. Slush, slush. No, I didn't dodge it. Down, down. Whack, whack. Down, down. Whack. My god, I'm kill the mother of all demigods. I am not keeping up. Ow. his lightning attack. Stupid stuff. It just sucks. 
so stupidly designed. You've never seen that sequence, J-Rock, then, then you should be happy that RNG never fucked you like this. Because it's all RNG after he starts teleporting. His teleporting is just such a poorly done mechanic. At first, uh, like, for a second, I thought that the teleporting was well paced. So that, like, the attack that he uses after teleporting is one that has a huge dodge frame. I was wrong. He didn't use any of his attacks after teleporting and he usually fucks you. You guys can keep tossing names at me, and I'm not gonna understand who's who. It's like a real, like... Real fucking... <laughs> rigmarole of whoever the hell... All these names that are G's or R's or M. Your jump! Your jump! Oh, cry. I wanna cry. <laughs> I wanna cry because, like, I dodged. I dodged the first lightning bolt. I dodged the second lightning bolt, but the area of effect from the first lightning bolt fucking hit me. <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> I hate him so much. He's so stupid. Why? Oh, the rays and repercussions of self incest. Oh, how am I supposed to take this, brother? This guy sucks. This guy just blows. Good, let the hate fuel you. But I should be. Mm, I'm still not dead somehow, but I should be. I died. Thank you for the hype train, homies. As I die again and again to Radagon, who is just an endless piece of shit. Tipping a truck, Bart. Thank you, Seven Kev. <laughs> Any song requests? I will meow it the whole time that I find them. This is Radio's Metal Gear Rising Revenges. Hello, what is this supposed to mean? I go in and Radagon's like, Nano Machine, son. What a thrill. <laughs> this blows. This really, really bulls. Just kill me.
Thanks, Ronnie, for a jump. Without race, grace, pain, without love. <laughs> bum, bum. Spain without the S. Am I winning? No, blood drop. I'm not winning. I'm suffering endlessly. <laughs> Meow, pling, pling, plon. Plain Pink Blonde is one of those songs that I recognize when I hear, but I don't remember it when I don't hear it. Bon Jovi. What's the Bon Jovi song that's in Rock Band 2? Yeah, you're right, Happy. It's living on a prayer. Well, I don't know what first voice means either, Sarkham Knight. Oh, you mean from, from the beginning of my playthrough? <laughs> Seven Kev, you got this. All you need is some armor, some spells, and this is probably way more manageable. Totally dodged. I really hate how those lightning bolts obscure vision, because he could have been doing something else.
I dodged this. I totally dodged it. By the time I dodged out of it, I wasn't even in the fucking area of effect. I was behind him. I don't understand what I could have done better there. It pisses me off. Wow. Okay. He just really, really sucks. I'm like reading him as best as a fucking human being can read it. And it, I'm still being punished. Take care, Liz Letty. Those hitboxes suck, Zek. This this boss really, really sucks. He is a god, not a man. I don't think that's the problem here. I think he's just badly balanced. <laughs> His weakness is magic, which does not help me at all. Living on a prayer to fight this boss. Mow, 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 mow. Take care, happy rogue. Wow. I'm dead. I'm using a blade slash anyway, so I might as well try the other thing. Even though it's not gonna do me much. But what was our damage before this? Like 700 ish? Maybe we'll be at like something beyond 700 ish, which is exciting, right? It probably won't be, is it? Because Ashes of the War in this game are just stupid and never work. So, uh, I can go in. You got flash banged. You try speed skip this, but it doesn't really work, and there's a bit of lag, but it's okay. Wow. 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 Okay, yeah, this uh, this was not worth it. This was dumb. This was so stupid. Fire did nothing. Jinx, what gave you that idea? A little bit, <laughs> it did a little bit more, but it was it was very very much not worth it. Hey, Jake, you're going ham right now. What happened? Okay, Tajik, are you good?
All right, I'm gonna have to step in real fast. He's mod unmodded. Can you guys uh unban the homies who got banned for some reason? I'm not sure what happened, but Ho homie just went insane all of a sudden. Uh, a mod just started going up. I I don't know what happened. I don't think it's Tajik himself. I think it's like his account got hacked or something, or like something happened. <laughs> a cat on his keyboard, maybe? But you start banning, like, people randomly. No problem. B's ass was worth contributing you to in our slash place. really 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 sucks when he like does the lightning thing and he immediately like teleports it's really rough omega unicorn welcome to ghosty family your turn is up well i hope you enjoy your stay Tubi's ass is a worthy sacrifice. Anything to propagate her beautiful, beautiful ass. <laughs> her her butt be out of this world, okay? It is shapely. It is beautiful, lady.
<laughs> Sucks! You can dodge. Ugh, you miss one thing and you're just fucking dead. Ugh, he's so terrible as a boss. Thanks, human. It honestly does not matter how good I'm doing because I won't be to run until, like, because how random Radagon can be. Totally dodge that. Man, two B's chest isn't even that small, Lolly. They did not compromise enough. I thought you could like walk out of the area of the lightning bolt, but I'm wrong. You have to walk out of it. <sighs> I wish Radagon were thicker. Me fucking too. What? Give me something to look at, Zigzy Zaggy. Shut up, Lady Florentine. Yeah. <laughs> that was all Yoko Taro's plan. He gave 2B a fat ass so that you can see the humanity in 2B and understand the existentialist message way more. It's a nice butt reader, accentuated by the fact that you can play most of the game with it out. Teleport. He just really, really sucks. <laughs> he just really, really blows. A2 was my favorite too, J-Rock. She was so unhinged. Now, let's talk about the real waifu of the Nier series, Kaine. Mm
That fucking sucks. I really hate his teleporting. <sighs> it, it really is just the thing of like you miss the first like teleport and you just die. I think Kaine West, huh? The music is good, but it's not distracting me. How much I pain in my ass Radagon is. Alright, Radagon, you piece of shit. What's the point of you? What, did they make you so that everyone can say you're the worst boss in any Souls-like game? I gotta go pee again, BRB.
Let's go. Piss flood. Can you actually pee enough that you like run over your toilet? Can't imagine it. <sighs> Thank you guys for the welcome back. Let's go in and get fucked again because he sucks. And I know there's a <laughs> there's a fucking phase two that I can't even get to right now. It's fine. It's all good. One, two. Okay. Hey, Poppy. Uh, it goes behind too. It goes behind too. You're just a fuck with me on Radagon! Oh my god, Radagon! That's actually so fucking bullshit of you. Can you stop? Like, what is going on there? I jumped over him. I jumped over him twice. I want to fucking die. Can you... <clears throat> <laughs> I'm trying to, like, not go insane. <laughs> Which I kind of feel like I'm going right now because I had three fucking whips. <laughs> Worse, you know that? God damn it. I'm 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 livid. I'm I'm pissed off. Fuck this God what the fuck <laughs> That was so fucked up, okay. Anyway. Look, I, I don't even know what the hell is going on in second phase. I'm like I'm not looking forward to that at all. There were three! What is this, Boku no Pico? Come on! No, Kaibani, that's exactly it. I'm just like, I, at this point, I will be happy to have cheesed them. Fuck him! Get out of here, Radagon! Who even are you? Golden order, more like golden shower, am I right? Got him.
the fuck? Dead. Jump attack does more damage with Talisman, not only that, but it also staggers him, which is the best option I have with Katana since he doesn't bleed, so... Ugh, it's honestly me wrestling with RNG, which I don't really appreciate. But we are getting better, so that's okay. Would Frost help? I don't know, dude. I'm not gonna ex equip the fucking stomp. Am I fighting Thor? No, it's worse because at least Thor would have some nice, like, quips in between. This guy just stares at you wordlessly and fucking kicks your ass. Alright. Alright. We'll test it. So, with one jump attack, I get like 600 in. Let's test something else. Kill me. Let's test two katanas at once. How about that? Two full level katanas. And we'll change the jump attack one to a uh, full health attack. We'll see. Jumping attack always feels like a silly playstyle. It's a survival technique at this point. Alright, then we can put on... This. And then we can put on... I don't know what the fuck we can put on. Um, let's take off the jump attack and make it attacks at full health. No, fuck it. Let's go. You can jump attack with L1. I feel like that would be way too slow. But what do I know? I don't I don't dual wield. Just fucking sucks. <laughs> All right, jump attack L one. Let me try jump attack L one. How does this work? Do I just like? Okay. Burning him down fast, but doesn't mean I know I dodge him. That just means I can f fucking will on him until I die, which is a nice feeling. Bunny. I died. I'm not dead. But I could be.
We're dead. What's the point? What's the point of this guy? He sucks. He's the worst. Who? No. <laughs> what are you using for the PS4 controller layout? If you just search OBS controller, uh, you'll find it. I forget what it is, though. I know DH knows it from the top of his head. I guess I do do more damage like this, huh? Wow, I'm fucked. Teleporting in place feels like those MMOs where you press everything and do as much damage as possible. I mean, that's kind of Radagon's whole MMO, huh? All of his attacks, it feels like he is in a different game where all of his attacks auto lock onto you. <laughs> and you're the boss that he's fucking up. Dodge the initial ones to get hit by like two other things during. Shit, he turned around so fast. Am I dead? to phase two, which is still fucked. Wow, how'd you get all the way over there? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Whoa, what's going on? Where is he? He's gonna land on top of me.
What are you doing? What is that? Is that just that you summon the sun? What the? What did I do with this? I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I was so close. Come and get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm a fucking man, dude. Like, like, you imagine you're fighting a god and they just fucking go like, well, dude, <laughs> you know the earth doesn't have to exist, right? And you're like, what? And they just eat the earth and you're like, oh, shit, dude, I, I, I was fighting an enemy that's like five times beyond my fucking limits. What, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I even fight this battle? Hey, Dutchie. Hugs, son. Thanks, Gemini Frank. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm fucked up. Well, at least we got Elden Beast to have health, so we know that's possible, which, uh, you know. Not that I know what any of his attacks fucking are, but. You know, we we got Elden Beast to have health. Oh shit, you can't do that. Ah! All right, here we go. So far Oh my god, what am I even fucking doing? Help is on the way. Fuck. Oh shit, we're in the middle of the flame. What the fuck? What the fuck do I do? I died.
Alright, I have no clue what to do if I'm not sticking close to his body like I am the tree spirit. Oh, so you're listening to the sound of me slapping my thighs. How is it? Is it sexy to you? You guys are weird, so I wouldn't- I would not put it beyond you for you to say it's the sexiest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Can you slap your boob too? Uh, pay me a hundred dollars right now and I'll do it. It, it will sound exactly like the same sound as me slapping my thighs, but it's your money, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> but it's seven times in that time frame. Shut up. Are you projecting our fantasy or chat? I, uh, none of my fantasies has to do with thigh slaps. I don't understand the appeal. I would rather have a woman's thighs around my ears. I don't want to just hear the sound of... <laughs> What's the point? It, it's just, I, I could literally clap my hands and make the same sound. I just want to fucking split this guy and have like a uh, <laughs> like a lobster. I don't know. Thighs around my neck for choking purposes only. Oh, you know. <laughs> just a bit of thick thighs, you know, tearing your head off of your throats, muffling your ears. Love a woman that can absolutely kill me. <laughs> Paint the walls with my blood, Radagon. Whoops. Yo, Zafo then, nice. Thanks, Gray, for the 500 bits. This will not stop me. I have to kill him. Until it's my, it's my into sworn duty. You guys remember the game 2048? We're doing a perfect damage for it. I think it's a sign. Forty-eight damage. Kind of insane. With the squares, random guy. With the squares. Oh, I am dead. With the squares. 
<laughs> I don't remember. The Squares game was great. You did it all for the serotonin of seeing another bigger number. That, that that was like the ultimate like free game for a gacha gamer. The squares, Frosty. The squares. Get flashbanged again, giving me a headache, and then I just close my eyes and wait. Not good. Oh well. Shh. Ew, he sucks. The light's definitely giving me a headache because it sucks. But, the end's in sight. The only person fucking with me is Kaibani. We're good. Let's go. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if the... Uh, I wonder if I can even burst him down his second phase enough. But we'll see. We'll see. We got the rest of the night to find out, right? Hiya! Hiya! And now we can just die whenever, who knows. Oh, we're still alive though. Nope, we're dead. Fuck, now we're dead. <laughs> God, what's the point? What's the point? The RNG is so furious in this round. speak too soon. I was just like, what's the point of me being no hit if I'm just gonna die? And I was right. Because it's honestly so RNG based, you just have to pray. You just have to pray eventually that it will relent and let you get to phase two so you can fucking murder him. <laughs> Thanks, Gray. Just the monster dying. hunter way. If only you could kill him that fast. Look at that. 2048 damage. sucks, dude. Like, his teleport right next to you, and if you miss to dodge... If you miss dodging the teleport, you cannot dodge his next attack, <laughs> and you're just kind of dead. Ouch is right, Viper Lord. You just gotta accept it. Get thrust through the heart with his attacks and perish.
Get flashbanged again. dodge that one. Not that attack, but the stomp earlier. about that, Ground Pounder. Second phase has kind of been wild so far. I have no clue what's going on in it. I wouldn't say I was close. Circum Knight. Get it. Flip my toes, of course. Just in range, of course I was. Just a just a smidge in range. Hmm. I fucking love Ice Shield Twenty One. I never watched the anime though. I only read the manga, but it was still great either way. <laughs> Your character has most of its vital organs in her toes, which is why ground AOEs are so dangerous. It really do feel that way by Norway, boy. <laughs> Reverse Hail Mary, stop. Yo, Ice Shield 21 was lit. Kicker in Aisha 21 who looks super old, but he's actually like 18 and he smokes. I love him. I can fix him. <laughs> he was my favorite. His kicks, his legs are so powerful. Uh, well, TNT, everything's finished in Among Us, so... <laughs> so... Of course, Ryu, because he's buff. Well, half the Aisho 21 cast is buff. Oh yeah, Panther! He a real one. Manga doesn't have audio, so what? Anime doesn't have... Style.
one. <laughs> Ice Shield 21 definitely does not have as much style as the manga. The anime was way too short lived. Wow, I tried. Kind of a batshit ending. I thought the I thought the ending was fine, but it was up to interpretation. So that's like <laughs> I think a lot of people would think an ending where things are up to interpretation is a bad ending, but I think I think it worked well in Aisha 21's case. You know? Because, like, if you had an ending for its sports manga, you're just going to be like, Well, are they together forever or not? Devil Bat Dive! Senna, my boy! <laughs> I love Senna so much. I like Hiruma a lot too, and Aegon. Even though Aegon's a bastard. with a magnum kick. Man could fucking thread a uh, coat king through a goal like a hundred meters away it was incredible. <laughs> Take care, Frosty. What about Shin? I love Shin. Shin and his trident tackle. He was so cool and I love that he was such a stalwart, noble figure. I love his rivalry with Senna a lot. It's really up there with rivalries. Um... Oh my god. The OG I just me was like Yamato, right? I forget. There are so many like Oh my god, I died. I died. Watch I should turn it. No, watch the anime. The manga is so much better. It, the Aisho 21 manga is written by Yusuke, who is the- who is a dude who drew One Punch Man. Like, the good rendition of it, you know? Uh, not good as in better, like, or story-wise, but good as in the art style is out of this goddamn world. When you read Aisho 21, you can see his early art, and you see how's a, how it grows into the style that you see in One Punch Man today. I think it's really worth a read. I think Aisho 21 is not a great, fantastic story. I think there's, like, it, it's his first, like, artwork piece, I think. So, it's a little all over the place, but it's really good. I can't read, I'm sorry, then you're not experiencing Aisho 21 in the correct way. I can't even see him. Ah uh, yeah, the heart boner, the affection erection, 
the heart on. I get it, Ryan. Dress up, darling. It's just too good. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I really... I, I want there to be, like, good romances in, like, shonen manga, but I really don't think there is. Aishio 21 kind of has an okay one with Hiruma and Mamo- uh, and, uh, Mamoru? Is that her name? What's her name? Mamorini? Like, the, the, the older sister figure? But it's still, like, super fucking toxic. I can't stand the, like, beast boy raven dynamic where they shit on each other the whole time and then- but they're secretly in love. I'd rather that they just, like, was outright with their love. I really... He sucks so much. A lot of romance in manga is frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just want them to be good for each other, but then they're actually just horrible to each other. What manga needs is the relationship between me and Godfrey. <laughs> Just pure respect and adoration both ways. Shut up, I'm not projecting. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs> hard. Hey, I'm trying to get close to you. Will you let me?
what is that? What is that? What I do? It's oh my god, what I do? What do I do? I, I can't dodge it. I can't just hit, let it hit you and heal. And what is that really the only goddamn way? <laughs> Are you guys like for fucking real? That's the only goddamn way. I, I was running. I was dodging. I couldn't fucking get out of it. You have to heal through it. Oh my god, I didn't even know when he summoned it. Just run. <sighs> it lasts 30 seconds. Okay. I ha hate that. Like, it sucks. Like, most of this boss, it sucks. <sighs> he only does that sometimes, so I'll just try to get to it again. I... I just want to kill him. <laughs> He's not even like fun, is the thing. With that ball chasing, you had to roll around. That's the best way to avoid it. I With I was rolling chasing, around. Roll around it. What did it look That's like the I was best doing? Way to avoid it because it doesn't have a sharp turn radius. Thanks, J Rock. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Just don't get disheartened by by its stupid stupid <laughs> design. Honestly, having played to this point, I'm just like he's not as bad as Melania. You think Melania is the hardest boss in the game? I think this fucker is the hardest boss in the game. Well, who knows? I think this, bo this boss is the most, like, unbalanced. I think Melania is the most fun to play against. Granted, I, f hmm, I feel like if I had more things in my kit, like a summon, I think Melania could be pretty easy. This guy, though, I don't know. I would have to play the whole game with summons to understand.
Malekith sucks, but his first phase was okay, and his second phase sucks a lot, but his second phase is honestly pretty, um, squishy. So I wasn't sweating it, even though I did- It took me a while to beat him. When I think about bosses, so, like, I remember the first time that I played a FromSoft game, and I thought it was, like, impossible. Like, I had a moment of just, like, I cannot believe they have this much health. I don't think I have the patience or the tenacity to do this. And it was get, getting Chiro for the first time. You know, he has three phases. That's the most phases I've ever fucking seen. But, ultimately, eventually everything is kind of doable after a bit. Like, again and again to fuck with me. Yo, Ryuna! Thank you for your for months! Imagine Welcome home, my ghost link. Weapons and armor ray you peg, ray you peg, ray Can't even you imagine ray me you having an armor <laughs> anymore. Hey, hey, I have weapons, Ryuna! Apparently, Katana is the meta right now. I'm, I'm way ahead of it! Thank you, Neoman, for the jump. Radagon can be infinite poise, he can be staggered. Or what? What? Panderbell? What are we even talking about? Are you telling me... What? <laughs> I can't even read this sentence right now. You're telling me Radagon has infinite poise and also can be staggered? That doesn't make sense. Denny Doji, thanks for us for 13 months! Sir, these are not the golden showers I signed up for. I know, right? Pleasant surprise. So stupid. His teleports are honestly like his teleports are not very well designed in my opinion. It, it is the most RNG part of this whole experience. can't just be outside the circle to begin with. Nope. 
I died. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that <laughs> I didn't get to see what killed me, but it's all right. Holy dragon breath, even though he hadn't even spewed it yet. Him. I can't even see him. Why? Thanks, Gemini Frank. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I think he, in my playstyle, he's not as bad as Melania, considering how much better I am doing against him than Melania, I'd say. Ah, uh, it's just a matter of getting through phase two. <laughs> so I feel like it's... It doesn't feel good, because I feel like I'm just like, Man, I hope I luck out to cease phase two and then luck through phase two. Phase 2 is a lot of hopium. All that magic shit just dashed. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I, I I was trying to roll through the ball and dash through the ball, but I, I was just fucking dying. I, I just watched my life extinguish before my eyes. This boss kind of blows. I know it's like, it's like, no, no, it's not luck, but I'm just like, sometimes with the teleports, it just is luck. Like, I'm lucky enough to be in a place where he doesn't teleport to. I, I'm lucky enough that he doesn't chain it with an attack that I can't react to. This boss blows. <laughs> Godfrey, I miss him. Godfrey would treat me right, you know? Uh oh.
Oh my god. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I hate him a lot, but it's fine. Okay, I've uh, 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 It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. We'll just uh, untilt and we'll go in. We'll kill his first phase and then we'll go die in the second phase. Let's go. That's the plan. <laughs> they are JR Rock. Have you not noticed they do that throughout the game? So can you just be outside that area of effect? Oh fuck! Oh shit! Nope, I guess not. I was just curious, I guess. Yes, that makes you just run. Well, you guys were fucking wrong.
Don't ask me what the fuck's going on because I don't know. rain game <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm fucking a uh, Norm Norman Jaden fucking getting fucked in the ass like five times in a row in a grocery mart <laughs> I supposed to know that random guy like I've only seen that attack like five times by now Okay, I'll be real with you guys. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I, it was only my fifth time seeing that attack. And each time I thought, like, he does a ring in the sky. So I was like, maybe where it is in the sky is indicative of where it's going to land. So I looked up every time. Like seriously, you know, like it's just me wrestling against RNG, hoping he doesn't do bullshit things with his teleport. <laughs> it just looks cool, so they did it. <laughs> Thanks, Gemini Frank. I'm having fun? No, uh, this boss kind of sucks. I'm not having fun against this boss. I feel like he's very poorly designed.
Where are you? Wow, this is pretty unlucky, huh? This is pretty fucked up. This is, uh, this sucks. this one. Woo! <laughs> Are we dead? Might be. I think I'm dead. Pretty... Uh-huh. My God, calm the fuck down. <laughs> G G, holy fuck. <laughs> Please see. Please, for the love of God. God, do not tell me there's a phase three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. What do I do now? Oh, 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 guys, do I summon her? Is it time? Love her head. Praise the owner ring. Is it time? We do it. It's her. It's her time. Hello, waifu. 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 <laughs> I summoned Good a wife! Wife! The game. Actually, I think it's so sure five gift subs. Thank you, Ryan. You guys were all here. Thank you guys for accompanying me at my Odin Ring endgame. It's her. It's the wife. There she is. She's beautiful. The battle is over, I see. It is. And you are still stunning and I have your ring on my finger and I would do anything for you. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Is that the guy I just killed? They are not looking okay. What are you doing with it? I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now Ma cometh the age of the stars. I'm coming too. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here. Beginneth the chill night that encompasses all. Oh, it's so pretty. The great beyond. Ronnie, yes. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. She's so pretty. As the path stretcheth into darkness.
We we did it, Ronnie. We've done it. Together. Well then, shall we? Your mouth isn't even opening. I kiss your hands, both of them. Yes, My Ronnie. Yes. I don't know which hand to reach for. I'll kiss her armpits. I will. I will go directly into the cooch. <laughs> oh my god, this this doesn't feel real right now. I'm I'm here like toasted out of my mind. I'm staring at the Elden Ring credits. I'm like I like we we we've done it. We did it. We beat the entire game and all of the hard bosses. No item, no summon, katana only, no armor. We've done it. <laughs> Am I being gaslit right now? Like I'm gonna wake up in like two seconds being like, ah, fuck. <laughs> we really did it. Yo, shit. Hey, yo. Holy shit, you guys. This was the stupidest challenge run ever. It took us like 200 hours to get to this point and we've done it. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm feeling pretty fucking pog. Next time we'll play like a... Uh, during drunk streams, as you know, I like to play really challenging games. I want to play a shooter and then maybe we'll go back to Secular or Hollow Knight. Hiccup. Yo, this doesn't even feel real right now. We fucking did it. Everyone was murdered by my naked blade. Pure Japanese nipple steel destroyed. <laughs> Congratulations, you beat the game naked. Man, if I played through the game, New Game Plus, it would obviously be naked again. But I would change something up. I don't know what, but I would change something up. No, next week. So this week, I'm going to take a little break. Because uh, I have grad school stuff to do. Uh, but hopefully this week, I can wrap up everything I need for grad school. And then starting next week, we'll go back to our usually scheduled Rayu streams. The streamathon is over and... El over. Elden Ring is done. We can go back to ASMR and media share, homies. <laughs> Shut up, Gino. <laughs> I look away. We can, can you we can finally have ASMR and media share again. New game plus, no armor, no blocking, no dodging, no item, no magic, no summons. Shut up, Gray. <laughs> New game plus, no armor. We can go back no to blocking, our usual no everything. Dodging, no and then item, Tuesday through Thursday, no magic, I'll just play games no summons, as I want. No spirits, no flasks. No Our sprinting. regularly scheduled Ryu! Only, it's happening! ASMR. This doesn't even seem real. Man, I can't wait for a Frosty to have to like clip out every single boss I killed. Good luck, Fr Frosty! <laughs> oh, the end of an era here. I'm watching the entire credits as things for the game. Man. I don't even know what the fuck happened at the ending. I don't understand what's happening in the lore at all. This whole game is a complete mystery for me. Now I can watch all of those homies who did like no hit runs in these last four weeks and be like, what the fuck? How did you do that shit? Bloodborne? I really want to do Bloodborne Accudena, but I don't have a PS5, so what's the point? How do you feel that you beat the game? Man. Yeah, Melania was way harder than this guy. <laughs> it's time for us to go to our usual schedule. A lot of you guys are new from this last month, so you don't you don't even know what all we do here yet. Lore watching media share, mayhaps, mayhaps. As you know, during a media share, you can queue up whatever you want.
Two days of Radagon versus one week of Melania. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's indication enough of how, like, hard Melania is compared to Radagon. Media Share is Friday, starting at 7 p.m. PT. And then we just go for like 10 hours of just us watching videos. Sometimes I might fall asleep earlier, I don't know. <laughs> Ryu does variety streams. I thought all she does was Elden Ring. Alright, we took a little break here for Elden Ring so that I could stay ahead of the time. So we're back to our usual schedule. I play visual novels, I play everything. But it's always a fun time and we always chat and just vibe. So I hope you guys will stop by in the future, even if it's not Elden Ring. I also really like stupid hard games. So like, if you want to stop by when I'm drunk and playing stupid hard games, that's fine too. <laughs> you know what I'm about. I know what I'm about. The Gwagles. So what will happen now? So, uh, this week I'm taking a little break from streaming, which is very well timed considering how, um... <laughs> considering we beat Elden Ring. I was worried you wouldn't be able to do it tonight, but it wasn't too bad. It was a lot of RNG, but it wasn't too bad. And then, uh, so I had to do it for grad school. I had to take the weekdays off and really hustle on this programming thing that I'm doing right now. And then we'll go back to our regularly scheduled Rayu next week. So, you know this drill. I start at 7 p.m. PT or 10 p.m. PT. Um, usually 7 p.m. PT. Sometimes 10 p.m. PT. So next train will be Sunday. It'll probably be this Sunday for Loot Club. Keep an eye on Discord and Twitter for more information. Overall opinion of the last stretch of the game? I like Elden Ring. I think it's a fun game. I think it was worth playing just to fight the bosses that I enjoyed. I do think that I only enjoyed maybe one-fourth of the bosses. And then the 75% of the bosses that I fought, I did not like. <laughs> As you know, I like readability. And if I felt like a boss wasn't readable or had lingering AOE or you get caught on the environment, it really ruined my experience of the boss overall. Uh, and, and that just means like stuff like, for example, you would walk like two steps and you get caught on some debris and you just get fucked. Or like they do an attack and you dodge it, but the attack has like a lingering AOE and it hits you anyway and you get fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yona69, you just missed it. Bad controls, bad camera, bad environment, rather than being hard. I agree, J Rock. One of my biggest qualms is with like giant, like, overworld bosses. Overworld bosses had the worst of the camera problems, as well as the worst of the getting caught on the environment problems. Um, <laughs> and also, like, the lock-on, for some reason, for, like, the biggest of bosses, uh, they give you, like, a stupid lock-on. Like, maybe two things to lock on. It's either their head or their crotch. Alright. Uh, I won't start it yet. Maybe there's still things you can hunt down later. New items can be purchased. Poggy Woggy. Man, that was fun. I really, I really enjoyed Elden Ring. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't want my criticism to make it seem like I thought the game was terrible or anything. It's just kind of like, I criticize it because I'm hopeful that there will be like a Sekiro 2. 178 hours, give or take like five hours from AFK times. <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> I did also spend a, an absurd amount of time on Melania and optional bosses. Five hours of piss. <laughs> I'm hoping for a Sekiro too. It's a great game with some noticeable flaws. Yeah, Sek, I think you really summarize it up well. One of the greatest games you ever played. I don't- I, I don't know how to explain it. Hang on, let me think for a sec. <laughs> Hello. Let me think for a sec. Um... 
I like the game a lot. I would recommend it to people, but it's not one of my favorites. Like, like I have the itch in my fingers to go back and play Sekiro. I have no desire in my body right now to play Elden Ring. And it's not because I'm fresh from playing Elden Ring. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to struggle through all of the parts of the games that I don't like to get to the parts that I do like. Whereas Sekiro, the whole time I'm like, man, this game is great. I love playing this. But right now, there is no love for Elden Ring in my body. <laughs> All right. Thank you, homies, for being here to witness my win. And for those of you who've been here for the last month, thank you guys for watching me play a whole month worth of Elden Ring. It was really, really fun. I'm glad we had a great streamathon. It was, it was cool. The bot was really, really nice. We've done it. We did it. We did it. Together, we did a no armor, no item, no summon. <laughs> masochistic run of Elden Ring. <laughs> Together we've done it and now we are free and we can return to our regularly scheduled Rayu. Except for this week because I have too much grad school stuff to do. But next week! <laughs> I can agree with that sentiment. Yeah, like, like there are games that you finish and, and you get this overwhelming sense of like, Man, I want to go, I want to play this again. I'm saying like, I want to play this in a year or something. With Elden Ring, I don't feel that. But with Sekiro, I really feel that. Good luck with school stuff. Thank you. All right. Uh, that's true. We did beat the whole game without having summoning homies. Maybe I'll witness. <laughs> Maybe we'll try PvP sometime or, um... Like, have someone summon me and be mortified. It's like, why don't- why aren't you wearing armor? Why did you die in two hits? Why? Why did you- why did you let me summon you? <laughs> Alright. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, all that good stuff. Especially YouTube. While I'm taking a little break from streaming this week, we're probably gonna post like three videos this week. So keep an eye out on YouTube. It helps me out a lot when you guys watch videos. I hope to one day have monetization on YouTube. So that'd be really, really nice. So please keep an eye out on YouTube. Or just come to the Discord. <laughs> Ray, you helps chat with Melania. Honestly, I feel more confident about me helping you guys with Melania than any other boss. <laughs> I feel like I can show up to Melania and I know what's happening, but if I show up to any other boss, I might get one shot and die. <laughs> PvP? <laughs> I don't I don't think PvP will redeem the game, but I think it'll be stupid fun. <laughs> we'll show up, we'll die. People will be very confused why it came in the first place. Hey yo. <laughs> she distracted the enemy for a single attack. My value knows no bounds. If you have a guide to raid, now it's time to use it. If not, let me go find us a homie to raid. Actually, I know exactly who we're gonna raid. <laughs> we're gonna raid a leaflet who is playing Elden Ring as we speak. No, don't do ASMR is coming. You don't care about my ASMR. I'll see you guys in a, um, you know what? I don't know when I'm gonna see you guys, but keep an eye out on Twitter and Discord and I'll let you guys know, all right? I know I'm going to take the next three days off of streaming at least. I just have a lot of programming to do. But, well, I'll see you guys again, alright? And I'll be on Discord all the time so you don't have to, you don't have to miss me too much. I'll be right there. It's, it's, uh, it will be like I'm talking to you because I am literally talking to you. <laughs> alright, reading leaflet. Let's do, let's do, um... I don't know what boss they're fighting. Let's do good. You got this leaflet raid. Bam! Alright, grab the raid message. I'll count you guys down, and I'll see you guys again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ghost Night. Enjoy your time with Leaflet.